everyone, welcome on back to the dojo! How we doing today? Happy Wednesday! Revered, thank you so much for the host! That's how you like always let me know that you're in the stream now. You just, you host at the very beginning, and that's how I know you're here. Pro's here as well, what's up Pro? What's up, welcome on in. Was that the Fall Guys theme music? It was, it is a remixed version of the Fall Guys theme music that has been on the start of every single stream since the new year started. Do you guys like it? I can find some other stuff, I, you know, if you want, if you guys aren't really loving the Fall Guys theme, we can leave that for just the Friday streams. Try and find some Mario remix for Mondays and some other remix thing for Wednesdays. I don't know. You like it? Yeah, I like it too. I think it's a really good remix. And it, it, you know, it brings together the entire original soundtrack. And I think it hits a really nice peak at exactly five minutes, which is perfect for us. Because that's how long I do start up for the stream. <laughs> but welcome on in guys we are back today with five nights at freddy's not fall guys although the music might be fall guys we are playing some spooky games and as you can see on the top of the game over there we have a checklist for all the things we have left to complete now if you were not here last week we did a lot of rounding up we did we did a lot of stuff we finished monty's gator golf we started and finished monty's gator golf as well as chica's mazer size we found a whole boatload of items laying around yeah we're playing some spoopy games you know it always the spoopy games what else did we do last time uh we discovered the daycare theater which i did not know existed before because the only time i had been to the daycare i did not have a level 5 security badge so i couldn't access it but now we can so we learned there was a theater we found some cardboard cutouts that glow a little bit when you take pictures of them and we got some more to find today so we're gonna go through this checklist, and I think it would be best if we start with collecting the remaining items. As we hear Roxy crying herself to sleep over here. There she is. I love how she still walks around even though she's like all decrepit and broken and can't see. It's actually probably a bit easier to avoid her since she can't see. Yeah, I know you hear me. Come get me. Come get me. Go, go, run away! She doesn't know where I am anymore. <laughs> That's great. She's gonna hear us run though. Time to go take a picture of the cutout. Yes, all right, so we're gonna start with collecting the two remaining items. All that we have left is one present and one duffel bag, both in the exact same area, and we know where they are. We just can't access it yet because we need to take certain pictures of certain cardboard cutouts that I happen to know exactly where they are. So we are gonna head back into the uh, into Rockstar Row and grab our first one. Master P graded, welcome on into the stream. Thank you so much for the three biddies. How are you doing today? I saw Ruby Rudy's got a very special 200 follower giveaway happening on Friday. I'm gonna have to tune in for that stream. Although uh, I think I'm streaming at the same time. We'll figure it out. I'll stop by at some point. Definitely want to see that. <laughs> Open up door. Okay, so I did find one of the cardboard cutouts sitting back here in Rockstar Row. However, it is in the music room, and it's actually very blatantly sitting there. I completely forgot this one was here. I happened to find it again because I was doing some off-stream searching for presents and collectibles, but we did find it right over here. We got Freddy. Let's take a nice picture of this dude. There we go. Now we got the glowing eyes. Might as well give it a save so we don't lose this progress. Yes, I miss you and wanted to say hi. How are you? I miss you too, Allie. It's been honestly so long since we hung out. We need to we need to get the band back together, you know? Get get those good united folks together to hang. But I'm doing well. How are things going for you guys? You're moving soon, I know. I don't remember where, but I know you guys are moving soon. I'll have to leave in a bit because my friend wants to play fart nipple. Oh no, but I'll try to be back. By the way, when you get all the cutouts, go back to the poster. Oh, I know, bro. I know. I know where we're going. Uh, we have to go to the Chica cutout now, which is back in the atrium. This one was actually really easy to find. I I thought of where this one might be hidden, and it was exactly where I thought it was. Let's get through here. Right? I saw some old pics, and it's been so long. But yeah, in a few days, we'll be moving to Florida. Oh, no. How, how soon is a few days? Is there time for us to get together before then? Here's our Chica cutout. We'll get a nice picture of you. We got some more glowy eyes. All right, we got one more, and that was Bonnie. Yeah, we're looking for Bonnie. Oh, right. I remember where it is. I don't need to pull up the uh, the Snapchat video I have saved. I know exactly where it is. We got to go to the Fazcade. Where's the exit? There it is. Up to the third floor we go. Yes, we're looking for Bonnie now. Forgot for a, a split second, but even if I did forget, I have photo evidence of where each of these are, so we're good. Moving to Tampa. Enjoy the warm weather. I think too soon. Oh man. I'm sure the pups are gonna love 
The drive down, or you guys, no, I would assume you're driving. You gotta bring all your stuff with you. <laughs> I was gonna say, are you flying? Are you flying with those giant pups? All right, let's get into the Faz Arcade. No way, you're gonna, you're, uh, Master P Graded is moving to the same area as Revered. That's pretty cool. I'm sure I'll be back in the area to visit family in the future so we can hang. All right, you're definitely gonna have to let me know when you're back because we need to make plans and we need to hang out for sure. It's amazing when you get there. Pro, I'm excited. I'm very excited to find out what's here. But after we get this, decide what you guys want to do next. So I'm collecting the remaining items, but then you can decide whether we want to do Princess Quest 3 first or listen to the mysterious CDs, because I have collected all the CDs. Actually, what I forgot to do at the beginning of the stream is walk you through all the stuff we got. I did collect basically every single item. We got all the shirts, all the pinatas, all the, uh, that's a pinata again. That's another pinata. We got the plushies. We got the figures, we got the masks, and then we got all these retro CDs. We've listened to three of them so far. Now we list need to listen to the rest of the, the other 13. So there's that. Uh, but I'll let you guys decide if we want to start a poll, whether we want to listen to the discs first, or if we want to play Princess Quest 3 first. That's totally up to you guys. All right, let's get up to the top of here today. Hello, how are you doing today? Joe, I am doing fantastic. I am super, super excited to play Five Nights at Freddy's today. You guys have no idea how much I've been waiting. Oh shit, who just what now? Go away. I didn't even know Chica was there. She doesn't usually spawn in here anymore. Okay, whatever, we're faster, we're fine. Yeah, I was, I was itching to play FNAF, guys. Literally since last Thursday, the day after our last Five Nights at Freddy's stream, I've been playing offline collecting everything I can and making sure I know where all the uh, different elements are so that we were ready to go for today and we are ready to go. We got our last cutout down here next to Princess Quest 2. How are you doing, Joe? How was your Wednesday? I used to go to Cypress Elementary in Florida before I moved to where I live now. Yeah, right. You don't live in Florida anymore, pro. I forget where you live, but I know you're not in, in Florida. I know Heiko and Revered are there and now we got Master P graded making her way down. There we go. That is all of the cutouts. Okay, so now we're going to the daycare center and down into the theater. So we got to go all the way out to the front of this place. Yes, now return to the poster. Oh, NC, right, 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 you're in North Carolina. That is not the right door. Here we go. I made the mistake of saving in there. Never going to do that again. This game is glitched to hell. Actually, I should probably have this out just in case Chica finds us. Because I don't know where she is. And if we die... Oh, there she is. I see her. Straight ahead. I see you, Chica. Do you see me? I don't think she sees me. She doesn't. Let's go. Yes! I didn't even have to shoot her. And we can take the railing skip. Boop. I love jumping over that railing. So much fun. Hey, David, welcome on in. Spoopy FNAF, heck yeah, this is the last stream of FNAF. We're gonna finish off 100% of everything that's left in this game. Did you see what I said about arranging something with them? No, I did not. I missed that message. Uh, sounds like you need to arrange dinner or something with them. <laughs> I think I, you, I think you should know what I'm telling you. Yes, I do know what you're telling me. You are saying that I should go to BJ's with them. However, they are the complete opposite direction of BJ's because uh, Master P Graded currently lives in New York. It's a me. You're gonna. Oh, you're just stopping by to say hi and then peace out. All right, David. Sounds good. Enjoy your night, man. It'll happen, Revered. I promise. I will find the time to do it. Oh, stay away. Don't see me. Don't see me. We're good. Out to the front. Fizzy Faz. We did all that. We got all the Fizzy Faz. I think there was only like one achievement I got off stream that you guys missed, and that was just the, the OPA achievement, which is breaking 10 sets of dishes, which I definitely had broken more than 10, but I don't know. This game is full of glitches, so who's shocked that the achievements are also glitched? Oh, actually, no, I think there there is also one achievement that's totally glitched that I can't get, that no one has, or maybe no one has. I don't know. We'll check up after we finish uh, our checklist. We'll see what's left in in, uh, in terms of achievements to do. All right, daycare center. Just checking up because I don't want spook friends. Mateo Pody, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on into the Dojo Squad. Welcome, welcome. Tell us, how did you come across the stream today? Daycare theater, baby, let's do it. Let's do it. 
I probably should have recharged my flashlight, but who cares? Can I do this? Freeze! Cool. Do 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 do. Alrighty, we are here. We are at the daycare theater. Go, 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 go. Nope, not gonna get past him. It's okay. Now we will. Welcome to Freddy oh, that scared me. I did not remember he was gonna start talking. Uh, oh, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, here we are. They're all glowing. Oh, and it just opened straight up. That's cool. I thought it was gonna have to like press a button to interact with it, but that's dope. So, when I first saw this poster and I learned that the eyes glowed, I didn't know if I just had to look for four character cutouts or if I also had to find the ship, but apparently you do not have to find a ship cutout. All right, we are in. What in the world is this area? So, we know there's a duffel bag and the presents somewhere back here. I just don't know where. Also, why is the texture like glitching out back here? That's weird. Anything here? Ooh, what is this? So this is Moon Man, Moon Drip and the Sun Whatever's room. I don't know what their official names are, but th this is their room. Did I just get stuck? Are you kidding me? Did I see? Oh my God. Okay, no, we're out. <laughs> we're fine. Yeah, this is Sun and, and Moon's room. Please, no spoilers, Joe. I know Afton is in the game, but I have not gotten that ending yet. So please, please, no spoilers. We got some party hats back here. I want to see like if this room is familiar at all. What is this? Excuse me. What? All right. Well, there's. The last present, or the, the last duffel bag. We'll go in there in a sec. Listen to the discs is up next. All right, cool. So after we finish this, we will go listen to all the mysterious discs. Yeah, yeah, I see the hole, bro. I'm just, I'm exploring the rest of the room because I know they like jump out of here. Can I get past this though? Can I, oh, there we go. Can I not, oh, I don't think I can get up here. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, no, we're fine. I keep thinking I'm glitching myself in places, but I end up being able to get out of them somehow. So I guess we can't we can't get up and exit that way. Oh, that makes sense. You're not even allowed back in the daycare center anyway, so you shouldn't be able to get in there. Okay, let's go in this hole. What do we got in here? Where's the present? See, oh, it's just behind it. It's the the gold box right in the corner. Oh, only one person voted on the poll. That's fine. We'll still do it. We got the lost and found achievement. That means we got all of the messages. Let's read that one. Arcade conspiracy. Exit interview. They are working together. The arcades. They are hiding something. The glitches. Glitch them all at the same time. Then the princess will recognize me. She's testing me. I am not yet worthy. The others are protecting it. Let me stay. I am so close. Just one more night. Please, I can save the princess. Okay, I have no idea who wrote that. Uh, but something I did learn over the past week uh, while I was re-watching some old theories from MatPat is uh, Princess Quest actually originated from the mobile port of the VR FNAF game, Help Wanted. So in that game, instead of having 16 mysterious tapes, they ported in Princess Quest 1. So I, I don't, I thought you said, no, 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 Revered. I remember you saying that it was used as promotional material for this game, not that it was in the VR game. I don't remember you saying that. If you did say that, I apologize. I just, I have a bad memory, but I, I did watch some MatPat videos and I saw that Princess Quest is actually in the mobile VR game. So two and three are both new. Okay, I'm sorry. I did not know you said both. I thought you only said one of them. And what is this? This is the gold... Broxy plush? No, oh, gold moon plush, right. And then we got that achievement, cool. So we have all of the items you can possibly get now. And we've got Balloon World. This was the, the game machine that one of the previous messages said was supposed to still be here, but got moved. Okay, so now we get to play this. Let's, let's see what we got here. Oh boy. So how much lore dump is gonna be in this, huh? What just happened? Uh, it, okay, I think I exited, but I didn't mean to exit. <laughs> I didn't try. Pro, no spoilers, dude, come on. You've been here long enough to know that. There we go, now we're starting. Okay, uh, how does move? Oh, we can blow, oh, okay. Uh, I see. So we're just blowing up the balloons. It's kind of like Flappy Bird. Can I get this balloon? Yeah, don't touch the ground. Touching the ground is, is bad. And touching the top is bad too. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna lose the balloon there. Yep, yep. 
Okay, this is gonna be a little difficult. Let's try again. Ah, I see. They show uh, you're spamming a button to make the balloons grow. Okay, yeah. There, the eight big games in this, like uh, mini golf and everything. Not the most clear instructions on how to do everything, but it's fine. We'll we'll learn. Can I get this balloon? Got it. Let's go. Don't go too high. Ah. Ah shit. All right. Well, obviously I'm not very good at this game right now, but we'll get better. Uh, I don't know what that party had. Yo, what? Why are the controls so wonky in this? Okay, this is gonna take a little getting used to for me. I also don't know if we're going for distance or if we're trying to find some special thing, but we'll keep looking. I'm gonna ignore those balloons there. Don't go for balloons, they're hard. Yeah, learned that the hard way. <laughs> I also don't like that sun is just kind of staring at us. Like, where, where's moon? Hey, we got a thousand extra points, let's go. I can get a one up with the balloons though, so that would be nice. Oh, don't go up too high. Okay, good. Uh-oh, moon's coming out. We don't like this. No, no. Play this game safe and pay attention. All right, I'm paying attention. So we got moon man in the background now. That looks bad. Those we probably don't want to touch. Oh, don't touch the ground. Ah, oh, god dang it. He just, he picks up downward and upward momentum so quickly. Okay, all right. We're doing good. What are these, bats? I think they're just bats. All right, moon's gone, sun's coming back out, nice. We are safe in the daytime again. You wanna look everywhere? All right, I'm looking everywhere. All I see are trees. I don't think something's hidden in the trees. I'm trying to focus on everything here. Let me know if I missed something. Don't tell me what it was if I do miss something, but tell me if I missed something. Go up, go, go, go. Oh, too high. Not too high, let's go. That was perfect. Okay, well that wasn't good. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got some shaking mountains? Why are the mountains like shivering? What is this? At least Moon Man's basically covered up by them. Uh, I see something. What is that, a cave, a rock on the left side of the mountain? Like the middle left? Don't touch the ground. There's something back there. Can't tell what it is, but there is definitely something there. Do, 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 do. This watch is probably gonna give us like backstory of like how this Megaplex was made or something. I don't know. Shaking isn't exactly the word I'd use. Vibrating? Uh, what word would you use? You'll see someone you know? Okay, okay. This game screams Flappy Bird. Yeah, no, this definitely feels like Flappy Bird, just kind of worse controls. I think I'd sooner rather play Flappy Bird. Oh, oh, I see some purple glitch on that log. Should I have touched that? I don't know if I should have touched that or not. What's up with those logs? I guess maybe you can go in between them. I probably should have gone down there. I feel like there's something that we can get if we go down. No, don't die. I died. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. I should have touched it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I noticed the glitching too late. I'll go for the glitching next time. Oh, does the mountain spawn by us or did we start further along? I must just not have noticed the mountain last time. Okay, if I see the glitching, touch it. Got it. Probably should have thought of that in the moment, but I was too focused on making it as far through this as possible. Yeah, okay, you start the game in the same spot every time. That's what I figured, just wasn't too sure. I didn't realize the mountain was shaking in the background in the very beginning, I completely missed that. I don't think that gold symbol on the carts down there means anything. I don't recognize the symbol at all. I could be wrong, who knows. I know in a lot of Matt Pat's theorizing while playing this game, he does not think that Gregory is human. And honestly, I could get behind that theory. Cause it's like, what screws up Freddy in the beginning of the game? What makes him malfunction? And how did he just crawl into Freddy's chest cavity when no one was looking? Don't go up too high. Oh, don't go too low. Okay, we're back at the daytime. So glitching should be coming up after the mountain. Cool, there's the mountain again. Is that purple glitching thing we saw on the log, is that the only one or are there more? Also, oh God, I gotta like time falling into the log. That's gonna be difficult. 
There's more? Okay, okay. Got it. I gotcha, I gotcha. Will I die touching this first one? Or can I keep going afterwards? Oh, here's Moon Man again. Do, 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 do. Getting a one up would actually be really, really helpful. Go away, bats. Go away, bats. Go up, go up. Oh, thread the needle. Oh, Jesus. Don't go too high. Oh, thank God. Ugh. We're good, we're good, we're good. Let's go. Almost touched the ground and the ceiling there. You don't die, but it does throw you back in, so uh, try not to. Okay. Well, it should be coming up now. I think it's the next one. Not the next one. Oh, it is the next one. I gotta fall down into it. What? Touch. Oh, Jesus, what? Oh, yeah, I got the up, up, and away trophy. That's cool. I. I Okay, I don't know what anything we just saw was, but okay, let's look for more glitches. Yeah, I, I have an idea of what to do. Oh god, now it's really like Flappy Bird going in between these trees, Jesus Christ. Okay, at least it's a little bit easier than Flappy Bird to maintain the same height at least. Still see that cave thing shaking in the background. Whatever I noticed that was by the mountain. Oh dud. Yeah, I uh I didn't fall down far enough. God dang it. New high score! Let's go again! Because apparently we gotta find more. You have to stay on the purple path. Oh, did I mess up? Did I mess something up while I was in the glitch? Do, 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 do. Oh my god, don't go that low. Don't go that high either! Ugh, son of a bitch. Balloon boy, why are you so obnoxious? I didn't want to directly say it, but yes, there is a path and you must follow it. Okay, I didn't even notice there was a path, but I'll try and keep a better eye out for it next time. To win this game, you must follow it to the very end. So, I would assume this overworld thing that I'm doing here... Oh, I got a 1-up, nice. Uh, this overworld part that I'm doing here might just be endless, but once you find the glitch, you gotta follow that. Okay. Alright. Makes sense. We'll try again. We gotta get through one more day-night cycle before it's here. Yeah, okay, it is endless. Cool! So let's not waste our time in an endless cycle. Let's actually get in this purple glitch. This actually might take longer than I thought. I did not realize there was this kind of minigame here. Do do. When you're in the glitch, if you're not on the purple path, then you go back to the normal setting. Okay, makes sense. I thought it was just a quick thing. That's why I didn't didn't notice anything there. I thought it was just supposed to be like a momentary glitch, and you would find more. Yeah, Joe, I understand. Please don't spoil anything, okay? I know there's- I, I've seen you say that there's someone I'm gonna recognize. And I'm waiting to find them, but please don't say any more about it. Okay, glitch should be coming up now. Really hope it is not in between all those. Okay, it's not. Mr. Glitch, where you at? Oh, I have to get through the bats first. I wonder what the high score, highest score someone got is. Because you know people definitely grinded this version of the game. Oh, go up, go up, go up. Son of a bitch. In between, in between, in between. Ooh. Okay, all right, now the glitch should be coming up. Give me that. No glitch there, no glitch there. No glitchy glitch. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Hello? What? Oh, you gotta be freaking joking, man. How was I supposed to get that? What? That's some bullshit. Try again. I can imagine it's like an arcade. High scores are in the millions. Yeah, probably. So what should I have done in that instance to get the glitch? Because I, I ran right into it. Oh, it it's 100% gonna 
eat up a balloon. That's great. That's nice. The glitch spawns RNG. Oh yeah, definitely. It's definitely RNG. It's just kind of a little unfortunate that it was on the second log and I still couldn't get it even after I went through the first log. Dryang, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Are you playing as that one character from the previous games? I forget his name. Yes, this is Balloon Boy. This is a mini game with him. And we are trying to find some glitch stuff in here with hidden endings. So we can learn what the heck is going on in this game and where all these glitches are coming from. Don't die, please. Okay, doing good, doing good. Hey, there's our first night cycle gone. One more night cycle and then we'll have the glitch. Yeah, his name is Balloon Boy. Oh, that's Dragon. Sorry, I read that as Dryang. My bad. Dragon. Welcome on in, Dragon. This is what happens when I just glance at chat really quickly while I'm focusing on the game. I mess up names. Okay, we're not gonna go in all of that because I don't want to. Yeah, you keep hopping up there, Balloon Boy. Here we go, second night cycle. So after this, we should have a glitch. I <laughs> don't blame you, I thought I was drying at first. I mean, they both start with D and I'm pretty sure their name color is the same currently. Do, 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 do. All right, well, at least I'm getting a little bit better at dodging the floor and ceiling. That's good, at least. Okay, can we end this night cycle? Got all three balloons still, so I would like to get the glitch this time. All right, here we go, eyes peeled for that glitch. And hopefully we can stay in whatever path I'm supposed to stay in. Oh, there it is. Ah, okay, okay, so I gotta stay, no, I didn't stay underneath it, dang it. So, wait, do I have to die now, or will it just respawn later on? What happens now? Should I restart, or do I keep going on the path? I was, oh, was I under the path? I have to stay on it? Okay, okay. I understand now. Keep going until you find another glitch. Okay, okay. I didn't realize that path was showing me what I had to be on. I thought I had to stay in the bounds of it. I thought that's what it was. Oh, go up. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, all right, saw that coming. We're gonna need some balloons. Okay, that's good. Another night cycle gone. One straggling bat. <laughs> okay, come on, give me, I need balloons, not hats. Oh, we're hitting rocks. What is this? We got some new land here. May I have to skip this one due to the single balloon? Well, I can get a one up and then I get my balloons back. I just don't know where the next glitch is gonna appear is the thing. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're kind of screwed here, aren't we? Yeah, we're screwed. That sucks. I hope tomorrow isn't science. I really hope it's social studies. Oh, do you have a rotating schedule in your classes, pro? I remember having that in middle school. It's like a, a drop schedule, I think it's called. Oh, really? I'm just gonna restart. I was dumb. Okay, so stay on the path. That's gonna be difficult. That's gonna be very difficult. Oh, that's right. You did tell me that you were learning about the reproductive system. Yeah, well, learning about that in middle school is never easy. You know, middle schoolers can be very immature. So when you guys were saying you might want to take a look at everything, you were just saying keep an eye out for the glitch, right? There's nothing else besides those glitches that I'm looking for. Like, there's nothing hidden in the background, or is there? I wasn't quite sure which meant. Oh, that was nice. Yo, threading the needle so hard right now. You're telling you to look for the glitch. Okay, okay. Just wasn't sure if there were other hidden things 
in the background, but n not like things I can interact with, just things that, you know, visual cues or something, I don't know. But there's nothing, okay. So what's up with the shaking mountains then? Is that something we figure out? I don't like how long you have to go through this to find the first glitch. Just give it to me earlier. All the party hats, dude. I wish they would spawn balloons in better areas. Alright, last night cycle. When I learned about the reproductive system, all the boys were so unsure and joked about uh, fucking while we were trying to learn. <laughs> yep, that sounds like middle school boys. Go up, good. All right, here comes our glitch. Stay on the path, on the path. Where is it at? Hello, glitch, where you at? Where you at, glitch, there it is, okay. Come on. Get it, yeah, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, he fell right out of the path, dude, I couldn't do shit. That's dumb. That was so dumb. Middle school boys can be super immature. Yes, yes they can, Revered. It throws you right into it. Yeah, I just started falling really fast. I guess after I touch the glitch, I'll just have to keep hovering. Yeah, I wasn't ready for it, I guess. I was trying to pay attention, but I didn't want... Oh, God dang it. Hang on, bro, I'll read that in a sec. Nah, yeah, I'm dead, whatever. I was trying to pay attention, but I didn't want to because it's weird learning it sitting next to a girl. Listen, you'll outgrow all that. Trust me. I know it might seem weird now because you're still pretty young, but everyone learns about it. It's just genetics. You know, everyone's got one or the other. Don't go up that high. Ah, balloon boy, you're killing me here. Oh, what? How did I not get that balloon? Man. All right, we are not gonna get that balloon. Nighttime, almost, we'll get this one. Yes, let's go. One up. Let's go, baby, one up. I don't like that it wastes your one up though. Why can't you wait till I die to give me my balloons back? That's dumb. Who implements a one up feature like that? Oh, jeez. Whew, that was close. See, with Flappy Bird, you couldn't touch the ground, but you could spam to go up to the ceiling and you wouldn't get hurt. But you can't do that here. BBB, the acron acronym stands for Balloon Bitch Boy. <laughs> Alright, uh, we need to make it through one more night cycle before the glitch. Ooh, let's go. Got that balloon. Not getting that balloon. Or that one. Be nice, Moon Man, be nice. Glitch territory, come on. Come on now, give it to me. Still got three balloons, so we should be fine. There it is, there it is. Easy to enter, let's go. No, too high! Oh, damn it! No! Come on, dude, that's so impossible! I did not sign up for this. All I wanted to do was get collectibles and uh, get achievements. I did not know this was part of the game. 
God dang it. Give me the balloon. What? Aw, oh, you stupid fucking branch. Come on. That pattern is super common in the path. That pattern sucks. You gotta go all the way up and all the way down, and I have no control over that speed whatsoever. Ah, uh, god damn you, Scott Coffin. Don't go up too high, thank you. So if I have three balloons, and then I get a one-up, does it just waste the one-up? Like, what happens? Oh, good. Oh no, it gives you a fourth balloon. Okay, I guess that's decent enough. I mean, they still should just kind of wait until you die and then give you all three back, but whatever. You get more balloons right away. Yeah, I'd rather them wait and give me a full three balloons when I die. Because, you know, that's how a one-up's supposed to work. It doesn't just give you extra health, it gives you a new life. It's possible you've seen a YouTuber do it? Oh, I'm sure it's possible, it's just gonna be a pain in the ass. How long is that path that I have to follow? Ooh, almost lost a balloon there. Couldn't get that balloon, it floated down. I'm definitely not getting that blue balloon. Alright, last night section. I also don't know how accurate to the path you need to be, because there was one point in the beginning of that path I was slightly off of it, but it still counted. So I don't know how extremely accurate you have to be. Alright, give me the glitch on a single pull, please. Just a single log of wood. It'd be amazing. Yes. Hello? Well, there we go. Wait, what? I stayed on it that time. What happened? Hello? What just happened? C Hello? Can someone explain to me what just happened? I was legit on the path and it booted me out. The fuck? Think of it as a timer when that goes down, when you're not there and... Wait, there's a there's slight wiggle room, but think of it as a timer that goes down when you're not there and reset when you touch it. It was ever so slightly above you. Fuck off, game. Come on. Okay, well we have three balloons, so I should be able to get whatever the next glitch is. But that's obnoxious as hell. And what's up with the red path after? I have to follow that too? Yeah, okay. Oh, red path means you're near the end. Okay, cool. It's good to know. Couple more bats, and we should be out of this section. And then entering the rocks. Maybe? I forget. Well, we're gonna beat our high score, potentially. No, we're definitely gonna beat it. <laughs> and there you go, beat the high score. Okay, so there should be a glitch coming up somewhere in these rocks. Don't know where. And don't mind me with that extra one up. Thank you. There it is. All right, how do we get up to that? Oh, what? I wasn't even on the path to begin with. What the fuck? That's so dumb. What was I even supposed to do in that situation? The glitch was on the top of the screen and the path was on the bottom. Like, come on. Ay ay ay. Well, I guess we're just going for a high score at this point because that was idiotic. Oh my God, there's so many bats. What is this? Now nah, I'm screwed. I guess the game's just really trying to kill you off at this point. Are we climbing the mountain? What's going on here? 
think we are climbing. Well, I, I literally, I can't get the glitch. Whatever the next glitch is, it doesn't matter. We can't get it. I want to see where it is, though. Well, actually, if I keep getting balloons, we could get the next glitch. One more balloon, come on. Actually, I can get it with two, but three... No, I don't I don't have two balloons. Now I got three. I got two! What? What the fuck? They didn't even give me three balloons! Ay yeah, yay. Whatever. It was dumb. I hate insanity because I want Pokemon Arceus, but it's hard because I either get ads or I see people's notifications of it. Is that the new Pokemon game? Ugh, fuck off. Come on. How did I already lose a balloon? Wait, what? Balloon Boy can stand there and he doesn't get hurt? Then how do I lose a balloon when I touch the ground? What is this? Dumb. See, that is the new Pokemon. Gotcha, gotcha. You don't want spoilers? Oh, I totally understand, bro. I get not wanting spoilers. I feel like that's tough with a Pokemon game because everyone's playing it. I didn't realize the 1-Up, no matter what state you're in, only gives you a single balloon. I thought it recharged your balloons to full. So that's different. We can return to this to an another time, as far as I'm aware this didn't do anything. Well, no, I definitely want to experience whatever lore is hidden behind this. So we can get it. I was close, I made it to the red path. Go up, go up. Oh my god, so many close together birds, bats, whatever the hell they are. Alright, one more day night cycle. I mean, my last attempt was definitely my best, but then I got booted out for, like, no good reason. Okay, night cycle. Cool, cool. You guys do see what I'm talking about though with that like cave in the background. You can see like a little bit of brown on the bottom left of the mountain. It's not all the way on the left, but it's towards the left. We're passing it like right now. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, end the night cycle. Yes, go away. No one wants to see you, Moon Drip. Goaded, welcome on into the stream, buddy. Happy Wednesday. Boy Gots Gosto, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on into the Dojo Squad. Happy Hump Day, everyone. Oh, here's our glitch. Okay, all right, all right. We're doing it. We're go. We're doing good. What is this path made of? Don't go up. Don't go up. Don't go up. Stay on it, 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 stay on the path. Oh my god, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Go down, please go down, please go down, please go down. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Jesus Christ, how long is this? Oh my god, it's glitching worse and worse. Don't go up too high, don't go up too high. Oh, is this the end? Is this the end? I think we got it. Yes, we did it. What do we get? Oh my god, the sun looks awful. Oh, I can still move. I can still move. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is happening? Good. What does that say? Good something? Good night? Oh god, it says good night. Uh. Did the game just crash? Oh no, it booted us out of the game. Okay. What? What just happened? Okay, so. 
everything got super super glitchy as he went through that and then as i got as i was stuck in that last position the sun came full screen and then it just was flashing good night like what what does that even mean i'm so confused can anyone give me any explanations as to what they think was going on there and then we just checked off our first thing let's go that was that was interesting where do these power cords go does that go to the machine no that goes to the light up there okay well that was sure something um okay then i wish there were kind of more mini games like that in this not even with uh glitchy lore stuff like that but just extra mini games would be fun in this can y'all go away actually wait i can get rid of y'all like this i don't think that worked fully maybe it did i don't know glitch trap you think that was glitch trap now you gotta return to the sister location room and listen to the disc. Yes, that is where we're going next. Um, what is the best way to get there? How did I get there last time? Uh, I know it's from Rockstar Row, I think. I think I gotta get there from Rockstar Row. Comedy bot, how's everyone doing tonight? I am doing swell. Now that I found a bunch of hidden shit. Wow, that camera is so helpful. Right. Oh yeah, it is the sister location room. You're right. It's that room with the uh, the TV and the uh, what is it? Popcorn or the butter? I forget which was there. Let's save for sure. How are you able to save the game still? I thought you weren't allowed to. That is a very good question, Dragon. And the fact of the matter is, this game is ridiculously glitchy. There are so many goddamn glitches in this. It probably was not play tested. But the thing that triggers the game to get to 5.15 a.m. is when you pick up the damaged robot head in Roxy Raceway. And for some reason, even after you finish that, the damaged head respawns. So if you pick up that damaged head again, it's gonna set the game back to a 5.15 a.m. state, even though I may have already beaten it. So we are technically at 6, 6 a.m. We're past 6 a.m. But because I picked up the broken head, the game thinks I'm at 5.15 a.m. So I get to save. And I still keep all of the abilities I would have had in post game. So like um, th the way to, to enter the very last state of the game is to upgrade Freddy with Ro with uh, yeah with Roxy's eyes. I still have Roxy's eyes abilities even though the game thinks we're at 5:15 a.m. So yeah, it's just it, it's extremely glitchy. This game is not well made. It's fun. The story's great. The environments are awesome, but there there's just way too many glitches for a AAA game. All right, so like I said, I'm pretty sure we're heading back to Rockstar Row. I just don't remember. Oh, no, you know what? I do remember what door we have to go through. Okay, let me just grab Freddy and then we'll go. Actually, uh, do I... no, I don't even need Freddy. Everything's open. I love how you can see the loading zones when you're going into a different section of the game. It's great. So after we listen to all the rest of these CDs, next up is we are going to do the Vanny ending and get ourselves the uh, Princess Quest 3 ending. We'll play Princess Quest 3. We've done 1 and 2, and we know we saw Afton in 1, because what did he say? Uh, I always come back or something? He says that in like some glitch text. There we go. See, you can even see a present right now through the wall. That's Roxy's eyes ability. So I still have that dragon, but we don't care about any collectibles anymore. We got every single one. What are they like six gold plushes? Oh, another thing I learned is this is like Foxy's stage. I think I think that was Foxy's stage. I don't remember. All right, let's head down and then back up the other side. Okay, thank you. That scared me. I don't, okay, see, another thing that's glitched in this game. There are certain areas that Freddy can open with upgrades, whether it's Monty's claws or Chica's beak to use the voice box. However, whenever you walk up to these doorways, even if they're already open, the sound effect still plays. So like this, this uh, voice box here is one of the doors Chica would open. It is already open, but if I walk up to it, you hear that, or this door. No, not this door, uh, there's one further ahead. There's one for their head that you would have to use Monty's claws to open, and you'll still see the swipe animation from Freddy as if he's trying to open the already opened door, like this. Yeah, see? 
I don't understand. It's like, it's just so dumb the amount of glitches in this game. Did you know that Epic Games wanted a Switch exclusive bundle for Fortnite, but the best Nintendo could do was Samus, but Epic declined? That stinks. I mean, they already have so many other collaborations with other games and movies and everything. I don't think it matters that much that they missed out on like one Nintendo character. Oh, Jesus, I forgot that was the opening we had already done. That scared me. That really scared me. All right, almost to the sister location room. So last time we came to the sister location room, we listened to three discs and it sounded like Vanessa was talking with a therapist in the first two. And then in the last one, the third one, it sounded like she was talking to a different therapist. I don't know what happened to the last one, but hopefully we'll be able to piece more clues of the narrative together as we listen to these tapes. Alrighty. You're gonna do your claws right about now. Didn't scare me that time, Freddy. That one I did not remember was there. That one scared me. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got the sister location room. Already unlocked for us. How kind. Oh, there is a thing of butter. I forgot it was there. I thought it was just a popcorn, but no, there, there's, there's a thing of butter as well. What was it called? There was some special word they used with the butter. I forget what it was. Revered, remind me. I'm sure you know what it was, right? Yes, exotic butters. There you go, exotic butters. That's it. Okay, let's listen to some tapes. You're not going to talk to me? No. I wish there were subtitles for this. Problem. Oh, the flowers? Yes, these are particularly fragrant today, aren't they? I'm yeah, Vanessa doesn't talk much. <laughs> there. Now, let's see. What are you looking at? You're amazingly alert, aren't you? All right. Well, I'd like to have you tell me about yourself, but I can see that you're not going to do that. Or are you? All right, then. If you aren't going to talk to me, I'll just go by these notes. I'm going to try and stay Did quiet and just listen to these, coffee? try and soak it in what's happening. Or not. That chair doesn't really fit you, does it? Well, this won't take long. Let's see. Your previous counselor is no longer available. Does that bother you? No. Sounds like Vanessa. You don't look surprised to see me sitting Does... here instead of your last therapist. Yeah, we knew she had a new therapist now. Well then, let's get to it. I'll admit that some of what's in your file is a little surprising. Overall, you don't come across as a troublemaker. But if you read between the lines, it's clear that you have a little rebellious side, right? That would be Afton inside her head. And I'm surprised by your knowledge of computers. You're something That's of a phenom. Gonna be Afton probably too. Well, no, she was a beta means. tester, wasn't she? It means you have unusual skill, like a hacker. I assume you know what a hacker is. Yes? Do you think of yourself as a hacker? Interesting. Okay, so if Vanessa is the same person as the beta tester from the VR game, because I, th I th assumed they were, um, I guess Afton inside her head would be the computer expert. She is. Okay, she is. Thank you for confirming that. That's what I thought. I just wasn't too sure. Okay, interesting. Let's listen to the next tape. Good morning, Vanessa. Oh, yeah. Let's straight up says Vanessa. Me, Great. We? I got a message last night about you, and I have to be honest. It was upsetting. Apparently, the IT department has put together a pretty lengthy report chronicling non-job-related communications that have been coming to your computer. The fact that you're still doing something obviously not work-related on the job is disturbing enough. I think we heard about but encrypted communications in one of the earlier what tapes. I read is that the messages you're getting seem very manipulative in nature. Okay, so it's Afton talking to her or Glitchtrap maybe? About? I get a lot of messages from friends. I like when Lewis writes to me. He's funny. I'm not talking about Lewis. You know who I'm talking about. Which trap? Why won't you Yo, Miller's welcome on in. We're listening to some secret tapes right now. What you might not know is that this person who's been sending you messages has been hacking into your personal files too. These are the same files I have here. 
These files are full Doesn't that mean she hacked into them? Life. The therapist? Do you know what that means? I'm not in the tech department. I just type on the computers. I know that. But what matters here is that this person who is contacting you knows a lot about you. Lots of people know more than I do. Sometimes I need to listen. She's so aloof. Oh, that sometimes I need to listen line sounded like she was directly talking about apt and she's like, I need to listen to him. He's in my head. Okay. Yo, Millers, welcome on in. Robbie and Fiona, good to see you guys. We are playing Five Nights at Freddy's and as you can see on our checklist up there on the game, we already completed one of our tasks for today. And now we're doing task number four on that list. We're listening to the mysterious CDs last wednesday or last tuesday we didn't stream last wednesday we had three of these discs and now we have all 16 and we've listened to five of them so far so we're listening to the all of 16 of them but if you want to see the spooky room we're in we got a nice little hidden tv and a chair back here in some like back alley underneath this entire pizza plex all right we're gonna listen to more tapes so th there's a lot of lore going on here and we're learning about the backstory of the security guard vanessa who is also, she dresses up as Vanny the Bunny and has been trying to capture us this entire time throughout this whole game. So let's listen to more of her therapy tapes. Good morning, it's good to meet you. Meet you? I've read your files, so I'm up to speed on what you and your previous therapists have worked on. Okay, so we have another new therapist now. Okay. Sure. you can have a candy. I love one too. Is Vanessa a kid in this or what? No, cause she's got a job. I feel like they're talking to her as you if she's a kid. sitting there like that. Not a care in the world. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely seeing a pattern. She's killing the therapists. All right. Well, I'd like to start with Or turning them parents. into Aftons. I don't what know. happened to them and you it was tragic. But when I looked through the notes, I didn't get a sense that you've processed that emotionally. No, she definitely hasn't processed anything. She just happened, does what she's told. It came across as, well, more of an objective rather than a subjective narrative. Oh, sorry. You don't know what that means, do you? What I mean is that the way you told the story is more like you were reading something from a book than you rather were than telling about the events. Past. That makes me think you've cut. I got something to say about that. I'll wait till after. Is that right? Not sure. Well, I see in your file that you spend a lot of time by yourself and are good at self dialogue. You know what I mean? Talking Asking to herself. Questions and getting answers. Talking to Afton, so yep. So maybe you should ask yourself how you really feel about your past. Maybe you should give yourself a chance to really look at what happened and let yourself be upset about it. So you can let it go. Huh. Interesting. Okay, okay. So a couple things here. Obviously, you know, this the self-dialogue talking to herself. She's talking to the voice of William Afton in her head. Makes sense. And she's getting answers because he's literally telling her what to do. Um, but there was... Oh, shit. I lost what I was going to say. Uh, oh, the, the objective versus subjective thing. She said it sounds like she's kind of reading a story from a book rather than telling events that she lived. And that I think that makes sense because that's uh, th those are the moments that Afton takes over and she's like a backseat... She, she's a, a passenger in her own body watching what happens because Afton has control of her. This is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. But this should be the same therapist right, now. Would you like a candy? I think that, Butter yeah, scotch, candy. Yeah. Same same as last time. Not so I think every two tapes, it's a new therapist. Calories a piece. <laughs> Gotta go read. All right. It's over there. I figured, Rob. He came in at a rough time. Have a good night. Okay. I thought we could do something today that will help us get to know one another better. It looks like you've never taken an ink blot test, right? No? Okay. Then I'm going to Have a good night, guys. See you later. Blots, like this one. And I want you to tell me the first thing it makes you think of. Here we go. What do you see here? A treehouse. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It does look sort of like a treehouse, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Do you like treehouses? I like to sit outside and read. That's good. Now, what about this one? A beetle. Really? Looks like a face to me. That's very interesting. Oh, that's the end of that. 
A beetle looks like a face. I don't know. I didn't get anything from that. Uh, but one other thing I did want to say is in the last tape, she said um, you should think about your past. Are you happy? Uh, and let go of it. To me, that feels like she's talking directly to Afton. She may not know what this therapist, but I, I to me, that's like she's not talking to Vanessa. She's talking directly to Afton inside her head, which is pretty interesting. So if the pattern reemerges here, we should have a new therapist now. Have you thought more about no, it's the same therapist. In our last session, you told me you were sad and scared about what happened to you. I suggested you write down exactly what made you so sad and scared. Did we not hear that Did session, or are these that? tapes not in order? You know, I work with people of all ages, from little kids to the very elderly, and everyone reacts to tragedy differently. Tragedy always leads to a feeling of loss. It's a hole that feels funny, right? Yeah. So, if you could process those feelings, how do you think it would affect your fantasies? Would you keep them in the way they are? I don't even know what to think from that tape. I don't know. So much of this is so confusing. I don't know. I don't know. Also, something I was thinking of, all these tapes have four numbers. I'm pretty sure it's just numbers. I don't think there are letters, but it has four numbers associated with each tape. I was wondering what happens if you put them all in order? Is there some secret code there? I don't know. I don't know what any of the previous numbers were, but I'm sure Matt Pat will figure that out in his theories. What are you doing? Oh, you like those? I do too. They smell so sweet, don't they? Apparently, the janitor on this floor has a garden and has been putting bouquets in the offices here for years. Okay. Do you ever grow things? Flowers we heard of came no? from. I work a lot. I know you do. Maybe more than you should. More free time would do you good. Do you have a hobby? Killing? No. Stuffing people into animatronics? For you. Like a sport. <laughs> no. Hmm. I have a craft space in my basement. Maybe I did you do a twirl? Yes, I did do a twirl. To do. Got nothing better to do listening to these tapes. What'd she say? Oh shit, I missed what she said there. God damn it. I, I don't know what she said at the end of that tape. Something about a basement maybe? I have no idea. Did anyone else hear that over my talking? Because I don't know what she said. <laughs> Rip. Uh, Joe, have I played FNAF Ultimate Custom Night? No, but I did watch a lot of playthroughs from both GT Live and Daco on that one. It's fine. It's not too important. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but I don't know what she said, but it's are. fine. It looks like you could take a nap. That's a nice chair. We've had the same it. therapist like four tapes in a row. According to these message logs, you've been working pretty late over the last couple of weeks, or not working. Are you ready to talk about who you're interacting with? From what I can see here, the interaction is getting more serious. Is it distracting you from your work? My work is important. There's a non-disclosure agreement. What? I mean, I get that Fazbear Entertainment wants you to sign an NDA after all of the missing children's cases over the years, but I don't know what to make of that one. Let's keep listening. Good morning, Vanessa. We got five more. Well, I can't that? blame you for looking out the window instead of listening to me. It's a gorgeous it's like a day, chair creaking or something. I like the blue sky. Hmm, so do she's I. so like monotone when she talks. Now, let's see what we can get done on this nice sunny day. Okay, here we go. I know part of your job requires you to do online searches, but a routine audit of your search history has revealed that you're doing a little private searching on company time. That... Is that right? Okay. I get breaks. That's true. So on your breaks. It looks like you were shopping for a costume. Oh, you purchased some funny costume. Fur material. What are you gonna make? Hello? What was that? She mumbled. Did you say the costume is a secret? Why is that? I can't talk about this. He said he would always be watching. Oh, he what? Be here or there. Are you talking about your dad? I raise the volume for you guys. Come up again. I hate sounding like a broken record, but this is something you really need to resolve if you're ever going to be happy. I have. I compartmentalized him. He's locked away. 
No, that's not what I mean. You can't just ignore an issue. You have to face your memory of the experiences and process them so you can let it go. So you don't get triggered anymore. You can use a sort of self-dialogue to release these things. I don't like doing that. Hmm. Well, okay. We'll get back to that. I'd really like to know something about this costume. What's it for? Okay, wow, there's a lot to unpack in that tape. Hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna lower the FNAF volume back down for you guys, but wow. Okay, so the audit of online internet searches, that connects directly back to the mobile FNAF AR game. Uh, what was that? Um, I have it on my phone. What was that called? FNAF. Hello, where is it? I know I have it on my phone. Oh, Special Delivery, thank you. Yeah, that's the name of it. That connects directly back to Special Delivery because there's an email system in that game, kind of similar to how we picked up duffel bags and we get messages. Um, but there was an email in it that directly said that Ness, Vanessa, was having her internet searches audited, that they were searching through that. So that directly connects back. Little discrepancies here. The therapist thought she was talking about her father, and I don't know if maybe that's just the therapist thinking what the therapist is thinking, or if there's something in her file actually about her father. I don't think her father's Afton though, that doesn't make sense. Um, but she then said she had compartmentalized and like stored him away. So maybe that's actual real Vanessa trying to fight off the Afton in her head. I don't know. I don't know, that one seemed very weird, but he, she said in like a, a, a tense whisper that he's always watching, you know? So he's definitely still in her head. There's a lot going on there. there there's a lot to unpack. Wow, tape 11. Good tape, very good tape. I wanna know when we're gonna lose this therapist because this therapist has been with us for like five or six tapes now, that's insane. I don't know, but we are actually going to take a quick break because I need to run to the bathroom. But when I get back, we will continue our search for the lore through these tapes and then we'll get on our way to the canon ending, but I will be right back, guys.
Alright, sorry about that, guys. Got bad stomach ache for a second there. I think it's whatever he ate at lunch, but we're all good now. We're gonna keep pushing through this. We got some more tasks to do, and we got five more discs to listen to, so let's listen to disc number 12. I understand you'll be transferring to a different location soon. I'll be sorry to see you go. I think we've been making progress, don't you? Moving to a new location. Hmm. to come back and speak with me more on your own time, though. Did you know that? Our sessions don't have to be company mandated. I have all sorts of clients, Vanessa. I don't just work with corporations. I work with individuals and small groups. I even work in schools. I'm wherever I'm needed. Mm, I don't like I'm Vanessa going so towards schools. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. All right. That's out of character for Vanessa. Okay. When I'm getting to know a new client, I like to start by finding out directly from them what they and like to do. And new therapist. How do you spend all the time you have? Nothing. Well, how do you feel about sports? You like sports? Yeah? No? Oh, I get it. You like to watch them, but not play them. You like being inside, don't you? Yep. I, get that. I do. Lots of weird stuff outdoors, isn't Definitely there? an inside person. Yeah, I understand. Well, I hate to do this right off the bat, but I've been directed oh, to ask popcorn. you about this. Apparently, I'm the fourth therapist you've had. That is a and fact. Apparently, all three of your former therapists have gone missing. Oh shit! Or two of them are missing. What I don't happened want to the third? You, but I have to tell you that one of them was found dead. Oh shit! That doesn't seem to upset you. Well, then I guess I'll go ahead and tell you that the woman's body was pretty messed up. It looked like it was mangled by machinery. Ah, uh -huh, mangled. Was she, oh, that was she scooped? You either? Hmm. It's all pretty strange. I Last think. few of these are twisted as fuck. I'm Yay. Not on the circumstances. Apparently, the police don't have any evidence. Makes sense. Snapped and murder. How does this make you feel? Maybe I should be watching my back. Yes, yes, yeah, you that's should. Funny, isn't it? Okay, shall we move on to something lighter? Okay, uh, so now that is official. Two of the therapists have gone missing. One is officially dead. Good. When I heard these, I was shaken up. Oh, good. I'm excited for these last three. Do you know a place called Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Place? Oh, no. I'll take your silence as a yes. Yep. And besides, I know you know it. Because the technicians who work for Pizza Plex know hmm. you. Or rather, I guess it would be better to say that they think they do. They report that they've what? caught you on camera, or at least it appears to be you. Nothing to say about that? Interesting. Well, the are convinced that you've hacked into their system many times. Although, I'll admit I don't see any proof here. Seems like they have more of a gut feeling than fact. Hmm. But apparently, Their the gut's probably are right. all kinds of problems. Hmm. You get a kick out of that? The idea of techs running around like chickens with their heads cut off? <laughs> yeah, that's a funny image, isn't it? That's screwed up. I guess it's just I Afton inside her that's I think screwed it's up. Weird that you'd spend so much time in such a busy social place. You seem like more of a loner to me. Well, that's why she's the Lots night guard. Lots of time by yourself instead of with friends. Lots of time talking to yourself, right? Is it the electronics you like? I saw in your file that you have developed software programs that talk to you and repeat phrases, right? The what? program asks you questions and prompts you for responses. Oh no, that's It's kind of like your own self therapy, isn't it? What? She's talking so directly to Glitch Trap. To, to work things out, right? When I saw some of your recent encrypted conversation logs, that's what I thought I was looking or at. Or she's just talking directly it to felt Afton. Like I was watching someone go back and forth in their own head. But the text found something that's different than that. When I read what they found, at first, I thought I was looking at more examples of you just talking with yourself. Then I realized it was different. Yes. For how? When I study this, it sounds like there is someone else responding to you. Who is it? Okay, a lot to unpack here too. The fact that she asked her about the Mega Pizza Plex means when she was transferred, 
to this new therapist or transferred to wherever she is and got this new therapist that's when she started not working for but infiltrating the mega pizza plex it seems so i think somewhat of a timeline for vanessa is she was a beta tester for fnaf vr wherever the hell she was employed or working for that got sucked in by glitch trap and now he's in her head and then went on to work for special delivery so whatever five nights at freddy or whatever fazbear entertainment uh shoot off company that was responsible for the special delivery she started working for that that's where she got her internet history audited then she moved away from that therapist i don't know if that's the one she killed uh and started going to the mega pizza plex so now that's where we are now okay interesting interesting timeline of events so also i don't know if she's talking to glitch trap or if she's talking to the real afton because i haven't done the canon ending yet but it's kind of i'm assuming that afton is living below the building that's all of them that was disc 14 what that's not all of them i saw some ink blot test results in your file i like ink blot tests we got more you want to do one yes this girl sounds new okay. too how about this one Oh what yeah, the see? button prompt wasn't there. It was just being weird. That's all. What? You want to hold it? Hold what? Okay. The ink blot? You think it's a mask? It well, that's your vanny mask. mask. Like a disguise? Yep. Yeah, I can see that. You like the idea of being disguised? So you can get away with Disguises killings? Disguises let you be sort of invisible, don't they? You can get away with almost anything when you're invisible, can't you? Mm, yep. Like murders yeah. of little children. You like that idea, huh? Well, okay. Moving on. I have another report we need to talk about. Oh, God. What report? Apparently, the techs were reviewing communications going in and out of this building, and they came across some interesting things. They say you were in communication with someone. Or maybe something. Yeah. Pretty strange. I mean, this is all very clearly pointing towards Afton or Glitch Trap or both. Well, the text say it looked to them like it was an attempt to manipulate you or maybe to lure you. Somewhere. That is Glitch Trap manipulating her. There. That's better. On this side of the desk, I can see your eyes. What? The thing is. When I read the communications, I get something different out of them. What did you get? I don't think you're being manipulated here. I think you're the one doing the manipulating. What? No comment? Huh? That doesn't make sense. Okay. Then how about this? I have this still shot the text pulled from the security footage that recorded you in the pizza plex. That's you, isn't it? Doing what? Doing what in the pizza plex? I know this image is distorted, more. but I think it looks like you. Distorted? You know, that's alone. like Vanny. You're talking to someone or something. It's hard to tell. What are those things? They almost look like rabbit ears. Yep, that's her mask. Okay. What? You find that amusing? Well, I guess it is. Weird. Okay, so is she working at the Pizza Plex now? Is she just being found? Okay, if she wasn't originally a night guard at the Pizza Plex and people have found her sneaking around, how in the world did she get hired by the place afterwards? That makes no sense. We got one last tape. Let's listen to it. I got another message from the text at the Pizza Plex. I'm afraid it's about you again. Shocker. <laughs> the techs have been struggling to fix some serious glitches with the robots. I'm not sure what exactly is wrong. Oh shit, I just called Freddy. The robots more eerie you are not supposed to be in here, sir. You like that? Eerie instead of entertaining? Thanks, but it's really not that funny. <laughs> Apparently, the glitch extended beyond the robots. It went Ooh. system wide. What? It began infecting all the machines, and when the text traced the glitch back to its origin, it led them to you. 
I'm, I'm not going to pretend to understand everything I'm reading here, but what I get is that the system-wide glitch <sighs> is like a cascade. What? It was broadcasting a very dangerous message. While the techs were trying to reprogram the system to remove the glitch, the source of the glitch took over. Out. Right? You'll have to excuse me. I'm not all that familiar with computer programming, so I might get this wrong, but what I understand is that just computer programming stopped being a glitch and turned into an intentional set of subroutines that were aimed at creating the same thing the glitch created. Those subroutines Good. seem to have come from you. Good. Can you explain that? So we're gonna have Listen, a world world full of Athens. Our sessions are just between you and me. The text can't prove what they think, so you're not in trouble. I just thought you could tell me what you're trying to do. Maybe if we could get to the bottom of that, it could help you. What do you think? Still not talking? All right. Just never talk. Well, then let's do this. Why don't we talk about the research I did in your past? Oh, we? no. Oh, some no. Some therapists think they should only focus on information they get from their clients, but some therapists, like me, think it's helpful to find out about clients from other sources. Want to guess what I found out when I looked into the tragedy of your past? No. Well, yes, I do, All but no. about your parents? You aren't even going to look at me? Fine. You can look at the floor all you want. But it won't change the fact that none of what you said in your file about your parents was true. Oh, shit. The truth is, you she had be lying. great parents. A great childhood. Why did you lie? Look at me. Tell me why you lied. You... What was that? Well, I can understand why you might feel angry about the way I just confronted you. Why don't we come back to this another day? No, don't end the tape. Give me more. You're shaking your head as though that's not going to happen. She's going to kill her. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I guess once the therapist digs too far into the past, they get killed. Jesus Christ. Yeah, rip the final therapist. Good God. Okay, so... Did she lie about her past? Is it Afton talking about his past for the the bad parents? I have no clue. But the infection that spread throughout the entire system. So, glitch trap infected Vanessa, the VR tester. Vanessa now infects everything, and they said the whole goal in the subroutines is to continue making more of whatever infected Vanessa to start with. So, does that mean everyone in this universe is just going to become Afton and kill each other? Like what? Good God. Okay, I don't know how the hell Freddy got in here, but I'm kind of interested to see if I can walk out with him. Oh my God, I can. It doesn't even see the wall here as wall. It thinks it's a doorway. That's great. Okay. So, wow, that was a lot of lore dump and a lot to take in, but we did it. We listened to all the CDs. We can check that off on our list. Next up is the Princess Quest 3 ending. We're going to go save. And then we'll head over to uh, one of the endings. We'll just go to the front door or something. Ooh, dragon. We have to actually go back the way we came anyway, so. Yes. This is... Oh, this is the three-star ending. The... Whoa, wait, wait. I thought the canon ending was three stars. You're saying that the princess quest ending is three stars? Canon ending is only two stars. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. So let's get ourselves a three-star ending then. Uh, we're going this way and down. And we got to go back up afterwards. Oh, we're going to need Freddy. It's fine. I'll call Freddy over to us. Okay, not bad. Not bad. There was definitely a lot to take in there. And I definitely do not fully understand all of it yet. But I will eventually. Once I finish playing the games I've started, I'm playing the Pokemon Arceus game, which I definitely want to start. Uh, don't get spoiled on that one. I know Pro is super excited to start that one, but I don't think he owns it yet, and he's trying to stay away from spoilers too. I am not a big Pokemon fan. I've never actually played a Pokemon game besides if you count Pixelmon on Minecraft. Uh, so I know like almost nothing about Pokemon. I could tell you a good amount of the Gen 1 Pokemon names, 
But other than that, I'm not very good with Pokemon. Hello, Freddy? Can you open the door, bud? Hello? Ay, ay, ay. Where the hell is this dude? Good God, he's supposed to like spawn right on you. Come on, Freddy. I hear you're running around, but you're not making it here. He's stuck behind that one door. This door opens if he's near it, though. Then you got me who played Pokemon Go and Pokemon Tor uh, Pokin Tournament. Oh, okay. I did play Pokemon Go. That's true, but that's not a real Pokemon game. That's just a a collectathon game around the world. Where the hell is he? I can hear him running, but I don't see him anywhere. What is this? I'm confused. It's one of those other doors that open halfway and only you can fit. How, what? Where is there a door like that near here? What if I call him here? There he is, finally, Jesus. Okay, we're good. It's just, like I said, this game is very glitchy. But it's okay, once we get up, we can ditch Freddy and just run to a door. Oh, Jesus Christ. That always scares me. Literally, my heart just sunk. Okay, there we go, now we're free. And we wanna go to the front, so we can just go this way. Let's escape the pizza plex. Not for real. We're we're staying inside. We're just going to Vanny's room. Actually, I wonder if I even do I even need to go to uh, the ending or can I just glitch my way back into Vanny's room? We've done it before. Might as well do it again. Who needs to do the actual Vanessa ending? Oh, I have to do, oh, oh, maybe the game won't be playable if I if I don't do the ending. Smart. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We won't glitch the game this time. I am gonna recharge my flashlight though. Okay. I still do think it's very funny how we accidentally glitched our way into an ending less than halfway through the game. Like, how is that over, I, I don't understand how that's an oversight. Like. The first thing I noticed when I was in there was like, ooh, spiral staircase in the corner. How do I get to that? And then very easily jumped over the walls. Like, I don't know how any of the game testers or makers or the developers, they, like, how did they not even think of that? They could have put like an invisible thing over the half walls. They could have made the walls taller. You know, there were so many things they could have done to make that impossible. Go check the main stage is what Vanessa would say. This was our first time leaving. Oh, revered. So I realized why. Oh, what? This is not open. Um, Gregory, oh, okay. It still works. Make. Interesting. The door is open. And so uh, the reason I couldn't see that or disc you were talking you about the first time we got to the end of the game the is because uh, I can run to the stage all I want, but those discs do not show Freddy. themselves unless you are in Freddy's. So that's why I didn't find it the first time. But I did. Obviously, I picked up that disc because we listen to all of them now. But, uh, alright, let's do the Vanny ending. We saw her hideout, right? In Phaserblast? Maybe we could catch let's her Let's go there. catch her! If she thinks I escaped, maybe we can surprise her. I forget her. what happens. Yes. I know there's some Come. chase sequence that we let need to escape from. This. But I don't remember exactly how this chase sequence goes. Here, let's watch Freddy get destroyed again. I mean, these cinematics look damn good. There she is! Yes. Bye, Freddy. Oh yeah, he glitching. He glitching, all right. Yeah, this is a pretty dark ending. All right, we're on our own now. Uh, do I have control? Oh, I do have control now. Oh God, go, 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 go. Vanny is coming. Vanny is coming, run. Run, run, run. I don't know where I'm going, I can't see. Just keep running, don't stop. No, no, I don't know who's where, I can't see anything. Just run away, just run away, just run away, just run away. 
I don't know where I'm going. Just run away. Oh, through here, through here. Go, 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 go. No, stay away from me. Here we go. Here's the staircase. No! Oh! Jesus Christ! Ugh. Scared the crap out of me. I did not know Chica was there. I think I also ran into a wall. Ah, oh, shit. We saved all the way back here. God damn it. I was close, and I got the poop scared out of me from Miss Chica. I completely forgot any of those animatronics were in that section. Because they should all be dead. Or at least blinded. Uh, uh, let's not have the same fiasco we had last time. We're just gonna we're gonna grab Freddy now. I'll save uh, closer to that ending, just in case. Yeah, let's stop that. Wait, is this not? No, this is the right way. Oh, he he was trying to open the gate next to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. makes sense. Makes sense. Do 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 do. Dang, we were really so close. How did Chica even get me? Like, where did she spawn? I think I ran the wrong way, too. I think it was supposed to go around to the right to get on the spiral staircase, and I tried going left. But I also, I was just beelining it. I had no idea where I was going. All right. Up the stairs we go. It is nice that Freddy moves the same speed in like all directions. Hey, he didn't try to open the door that time. Nice. Okay, we are out of there. And we're ditching Freddy. Yeah, we're actually gonna save this time because that was unfortunate. Yeah, I don't did I die the first time going through that ending? I don't even remember. We just went through it so quickly, you know. We're coming for you, Princess Quest 3. We're coming for you. I like how this whole goal is just to play one mini game. And you know it's gonna be a super difficult game. Like, I'm probably gonna die multiple times attempting it. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Almost out in the front again. I don't know if any future FNAF game will ever top the music from this one. The music's actually pretty damn good in this. Let me out, let me out. Can I jump over these railings? No, you cannot. No, you definitely cannot. The elevator music deserves a rock cover. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would listen to a rock cover. Cool, all right, now if we die, we'll be right here. Let's try again. Hello? Gregory, there we go. You... Well, we saw her hideout, right? Okay, so blood? run through the door Maybe and then kind of to there. the right down a hallway. And then Maybe I'll just run the same her. way I did in yes. that server room to get around Roxy. Because I don't know where she spawns this. there. And then when we get out of that server room, avoid Chica. Avoid Chica. Okay, I'm holding square, but it's not letting me skip. So we got to sit through the cutscene. Because, you know, got to love a good glitch filled yes. game. I want to know where that exit door goes in the back of her room. There, like, there are so many blocked paths in this game. I just want to know where they go, you know? Yeah, no, this game was not playtested whatsoever. Not at all. Okay. Go, go, go. Give me control. Give me control. Let me go. Let me go. Go, 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 go. We're going, we're going, we're going. Oh, boy. Hopefully I do not get got this time. All right, here's the server room. Don't, oh, don't get stuck. Don't look, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Let me through. Uh, hello, this dude's gonna see me. Yeah, okay, there was nothing I can do there. Just go. 
Just go, just go, just go. I don't know where Cheek is. I don't care. Oh! She was right there! What? She was literally right in front of me. There was nowhere for me to go. The fuck? I guess I gotta, like, use the Phaser Blaster on her, maybe? Thank God we saved here. See, shouldn't the doors be opening up now? Because it's 6 a.m. Gregory, you... I guess you gotta approach so the doorway I slower. Know, yeah, I, I once I get to that doorway, blast? I'll take it a little slower. Maybe we could catch her there. If she thinks I escaped, maybe we can surprise her. I think yes. I can get past Come. that one uh, staff bot with the freaking like black crying eyes. I think I can get past him just using the phaser blast and save the camera, because then maybe I can use the camera on Chica. I think that's the best bet. If I can get to the end and then just use the camera on Chica, we'll be fine. But I don't remember this ending being so hard. Yeah, okay, we'll do that, we'll do that. Bye, Freddy. Nice knowing ya. Yeah, yeah, aim for the head, I remember. I remember. Go. Ooh, to the right. Why are you walking? Yeah, I don't like these bots that spin around and don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Go, oh, shortcut, okay. Warning. Got him. Membering with Fazbear automated staff will result in suspension of your membership. Okay. Where is this bitch at? Where is she? I don't see her. Oh, there she is. How do we get on? Oh, yes, we made it, we made it. Let's go. I am glitching out like crazy though. I think Vanny was near me. Okay, all right, we're through. Woo, let's go. Trigger the arcade? Pull a thorn, go for the head. Wait, what do you mean trigger the, oh, you mean you mean this, you mean this. How, how does one, wait, wait. Give me, give me game. Vanny's not coming, is she? Oh no, she is. She's coming, let me do the game. No. There's no option to play it! What is this? No, she's just skipping towards me! Die, Vanny! I'm so screwed. Wait, no, she's stuck in place. Well, she was. Oh, no! No! Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. Um. Maybe we go play Princess Quest 2 again? I, I don't know. I don't know. That's my best bet is trying to play Princess Quest 2 because there was no option to play that game. Yes, I did beat it. In fact, I beat it multiple times because I did it again off stream just to be sure. But we do have to remember that I did get the game stuck in a glitched position when I saved in that security office. So I don't know. Let's just go play the second one again and we'll, we'll do the ending again. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. This game is just ridiculously filled with glitches. That was terrifying with Vanny coming near me, though. It was pretty funny, though, that she was skipping in place when I got her with the camera. All right, this is fine. This is fine. We're gonna go beat Princess Quest 2 real quick. Then we're gonna come back and do the Vanny ending again. And if at that point we still cannot play Princess Quest 3, we're gonna call it quits on trying to do that and just go for the canon ending, because I, I don't know what to fucking do at that point. <laughs> Great game, great game. Let's go beat Princess Quest three for or Quest two for a third time. You know, I thought we would be able to get through like everything, but now with the time we're gonna have to waste here getting this ending again, plus doing the cannon ending, I don't know if we're gonna have time to get the final achievement. Oh Jesus, this guy's got a turn. Well, we've got an hour 15 left in the stream. Oh, she's in here. Go away. She's not usually in here anymore. I don't know why she started spawning in here again. Like, 
usually in post game, she only spawned in here if I got caught by a robot. Okay. Now hopefully Princess Quest 2 works. I swear to God, if I can't even play this one and I have to go all the way back to play Princess Quest 1, I'm gonna be pissed. But we should not have to. Hey, look at those glowy eyes. All right, let's see. Do I have the option to play? Okay, I can play this one. Working title. Let's do it. All right, we start going this way and we're gonna get our extra health real quick. We can just ignore the guys in this room. Please, I've gone through this and died and succeeded enough times to know exactly what I need to do in here. Yeah, even when we come back through this room for the second time, we don't have to kill any of these floating bunnies. Alrighty, we get some extra health in here. It's also really nice that every time you kill one of these things and you don't have full health, it just drops health for you. That is a great game mechanic. I right, got you. Don't need to worry about anyone else in this room. Do gotta worry about the fools in this room because they are a big pain in the ass. Oh, got me. Dang it. Trying to avoid him at all costs. Okay, everyone's out of that room. We are good. The bridge. And we'll kill everyone in here because we do have to backtrack this way. No! Shit, I hooked right into that. <laughs> Get out of here. Alright, we're at full health and there's another bit of health right here. Nice. I th think this is full health for the game now. I don't remember. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Okay, you gotta light all the torches so we can get the key. Ooh, you were close. You thought you had me. Nope, nope, get out. Oh, what? Hello, die. Good, back at full health. And one more torch. Right there. Awesome. Got the key. Okay, all the way up. Then we gotta, like, divide ourselves into two different flames. And there's like one more puzzle room we gotta get through. And then the door to the right is just our bedroom. I don't know who the heck this red dude is though. Awesome. Nice and easy. Ah, god dang it, these stupid things. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Just gotta ignore the dudes firing shit at me. Oh god, all right, I need to kill some of them because it's gonna get infinitely harder the more of these that turn on. Get out, uh, I can't access them that way. We gotta go down. Get out, get out. Ooh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Die, die, yes. A few more, we're almost there. He rep it resembles the old man in the original Legend of Zelda. Oh, it's just a reference. Okay, okay, okay. I thought that was like lore importance, but apparently not. I thought at first when you said old man, you were going to say it's a reference to old man consequences, but that didn't make sense. Is that all of them? I guess it is. I lit all the torches. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's get out of here. And all we got to do is get to the bedroom and we're done. Oh, no, no. There's one more puzzle we got to do, but no more fighting. Yeah, this puzzle. Okay. Hello? There we go. I kind of forget how I did this last time. I think it's like this. Hang on. Do that, right? And then twice. Right? That should work. Hey, let's go. Congratulations, your quest is done. Time to sleep. Well, I can't sleep in my bed. Won't let me. So this is interesting. The first princess quest, we couldn't get through the left door. We started in the bedroom and we went through the right door to the... There was an area behind that, not just glitch. This time, we started in the left room to, uh, uh, in reference to the bedroom and now we're ending going back through the first door from the first one. And now we're in some security office. I think this is from Pizzeria Simulator?
I don't know. I don't remember which game that's from, but I think with the vent on your left, I think that's Pizzeria Simulator. I think that's FNAF 6. But I don't know. Yeah, now we're gonna try and do Princess Quest 3 again. We'll go back to the front, we'll save. Why is this machine glowing? Way more than anything else in here. I don't know why. Also, I'm gonna wait for the camera to recharge just in case Chica tries to get us because I don't want to do Princess Quest again. <laughs> According to IGN, all you have to do to trigger Princess Quest 3 is beat the other two. Yeah, that's all you should have to do. I think what happened was after I beat Princess Quest 2 and saved in this glitchy area, stuff just got messed up. So that, that makes the most sense to me, especially considering whenever I try to uh, save again after that or collect new items, it would always respawn me in that room no matter where I saved. Okay, I don't know where the hell Chica is. We're just gonna run. Cool, all right, guess there's no Chica. We Now we can save, because this is a safe save spot. Alrighty, let's give it another attempt. Princess Quest 3 time. Ow, my ankles. <laughs> yeah, Gregory's just got ankles of steel, quite literally, because he might be an animatronic. We don't know. It is a running theory right now. You said glankles on purpose? What are glankles? Are those your glam rock ankles? Are you a glam rock animatronic now, Revered? Get out of here. Don't touch me. Oh, glass ankles, a reference to Jacksepticeye. I would not have gotten that reference, but actually, speaking of Jacksepticeye, I just saw a photo that he posted for an upcoming video where uh, him and Tom Holland play Uncharted, which is actually awesome. I totally want to watch that interview video. Oops, wrong button. Also, I'm super excited for Uncharted the movie to come out later this month. That is going to be so good. I'm super pumped for it. I played all the Uncharted games, plus the one spinoff, The Lost Legacy, which was decent but short. And I love Tom Holland. He's a great Spider-Man. He's a great actor. I am super excited to see him as a young Nathan Drake. I know there's some people that are like, he doesn't look like Nathan at all. They should have cast this person that looks exactly like him. This is a younger Nathan Drake. It's supposed to be older. Not older, like him being older, like older further back in the timeline, which I like. I'm very excited about the movie. I don't give a crap what other people say. He isn't great about spoilers, but yes, he is great at acting. That is, that is a fact. He's gotten better with spoilers. I don't think he really spoiled anything from, uh, from No Way Home. I mean, maybe there were some interviews where he, like, way, way prior to the press tour for No Way Home, where he, like, would smile or, or be unable to hide his face if someone mentioned Toby and Andrew if they were going to be in the movie. But he's gotten a lot better in the past years. Apparently Marvel told him that Stark's funeral was a wedding to prevent spoilers. That is 100% a fact. He thought that that was a wedding, not a funeral. Yay, we get to watch Freddy die for like a fourth time. Yeah, it was pretty funny. That, I mean, it's not just him though. Obviously he was straight up lied to about what that event in the movie was, but for Infinity War and Endgame, no one got a full, maybe like Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans got a full script, but other than that, everyone got multiple scripts that weren't complete or were fake. Like no one knew the full story of either of those movies until it hit the big screen. What, why would you waste that? I hit the up button. For the freaking flashlight. Okay, where's the dude that's gonna see me over here? Nowhere? Oh, yeah, that's cool. Where is she? I don't see her. Nope, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Ah, no, I'm dead. I can't do it to her, because she's blind. Shit. Okay, we're gonna hide. I know. There. Please don't come down here, Roxy. Oh, wait, I can't hide that long because Vanny's coming. Okay, but this recharge, we're fine. Why is Monty on the ground now? What? Why was Monty there? I thought Chica was supposed to be there. This game is weird as hell. No, Vanny, please. No, Vanny. No, Vanny, please. 
Okay, please let me play. Please let me play. Oh, thank God. Let's go. Princess Quest 3. Let's do it. We got it. Oh, we're starting here now. Interesting. Interesting. So what, can I not escape the vent? No. So going through the right bedroom door, which we had already been through in the first Princess Quest, but this time it was glitched and led us here. So I'm assuming we can walk out this door. Yeah, we can. Okay, okay. Um... So I'm assuming this is FNAF 6, and I am not as familiar with this one. It's been a long time since I've watched a playthrough of it. I know the whole building burns and you got the molten and... Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of them coming from behind. What did I just do? Okay, apparently I entered a room. What? No, don't exit. Ow! Can I not... Okay, that sucks. That, that hurts. Don't touch that. I guess we're going back in the hallway. Oh, no, no, wait, there's stuff up there. Where am I right now? That I can see, like, chair... I think those are chairs and plushes. I have no idea where I am. Okay, let's go back in the hallway where there's, like, a million creatures coming for us. Yeah, okay, here's the... What is this, up to the stage? Yeah, there's the stage. There's a big keyhole on the stage. Great. Was that Foxy's Pirate Cove? That's weird. Okay, we got doors to the right and up. Seems like this room is kind of like a safe haven. Uh, I really need some health, which is unfortunate. That is that is not a door, ma'am. Where did we get word? Starting Princess Quest 3 right now, bro. Okay, that's Foxy. Is he going to come after me? Can he come after me? Oh, no, he's stuck. Wait, is that a maze? What? What is this room? Okay, can't go all the way that way. Can't go all the way that way. It's big and open and scary, and I don't like this. I very much don't like this. Okay, I guess there's nothing around. I guess it's just you gotta wake, work your way into the center. Well, that sucks. Apparently, Tay ended stream early because the snowstorm in his area shut off the internet. Oh, no! Ooh, yes! Full health. Let's go. This is what we get for exploring everything. Okay, so if we die, we know in the top left of Foxy's room... There is health. Okay, I think that's it. Is there an entrance on the top? No. All right, let's head back down to the bottom. Enter this maze and see... Oh, there's... Oh, no. We're going to have to stay away from Foxy. We got to light those torches. Ah, shit. Okay, this is going to be tough. Watch out in this room. Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and watch out the best I can. How far over does this go? All right, here's the edge. That is a dead end. This is not a dead end. Yeah, I'm... Oh, purple glitchy chest. Okay. That's interesting. Hey, there's another, another one. Cool, cool. How do we get in there, though? Oh, there's, like, crops up there. I feel like the only place we've ever seen crops in Five Nights at Freddy's is the Curse of Dreadbear, but I don't know. So is he going to come after me or, like... Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm... Oh, my God. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Can I circle back? No. Oh, I got him stuck again. Okay, uh, that helps. I got to make it to the other side, though. Not that way. Here we go. All right, this is good. No, that's not good. It's good that he's trapped over there, and we can do this. I guess that was all of them. Uh... I, wow, I thought there would be one in the bottom right. I guess not. Okay, so did that open up the corn section? Is that what happened? Oh, he's moving around again. Yeah, it did open it up. Okay. I have an idea. Come here, dude. Come chase me. Yep, yep, yep. Good job. Good job, buddy. Hey, he got stuck. Wasn't even trying to do that. All right, what do we get from this? Oh, no, the Vanny mask. Jesus. All right, let's get out of here. Good God. It is nice that you can just kind of go on the edge path there. Right now, I'm just playing Fortnite with two of my friends, but Karate Man, what if you finish early? Uh, I don't think we will. We've got an hour left in the stream, and there's still a decent amount left to do. Because keep in mind, we still have to do... We have to beat the game without hiding, and that's going to that's gonna be tough. Okay, now we're going in the right door. Oh, a conveyor belt. Okay. What animatronic is in this room? Oh, that is a big Chica Eyes. That's a no-no. We don't like that. 
I also definitely saw something moving around. I don't know what. Okay. I thought this was gonna move us a little bit faster. Oh, okay, it's just it's just one of these. Just one of these creatures, and that gives us full health. Fantastic. Is there anything for me to light in this room? What's up with the, the fallen pillar here? Oh, they move now. What? That's new. Oh, and it looks like he has two shots. Interesting. So what happens if I walk over by Chica? Uh, does Chica usually have purple eyes? I don't think she usually has purple eyes. Hey, more health. Nice, nice. Something seems a little off about Chica to me. Where'd these guys go? Oh, there they are. Yeah, they, they move and they shoot shots. Oh, what the heck? There we go. Stay away. Get away. You dead. Okay. All right. What is this section? Jesus. Okay, got to walk back against this and light that torch up. Is that the only torch in here? I think it was. Pretty sure that was the only torch in here. We got more birthday party rooms. Oh, shoot. All right, we got to split ourselves in half again. Was the red one split us in half? Yeah. Oh, she can just, like, float on shit. Okay. That's interesting. So if I walk all the way over here, does that put her on the conveyor belt? Oh, that doesn't move her. Oh, dang. Um, maybe I don't need to get them at the same time. Yeah, we didn't need to get them at the same time. Cool. And this, oh God, what is this going to give us? Glitch trap? Oh, it does give us glitch trap. Okay. So this is like definitely connecting directly to the VR game. And I'm really glad that I rewatched some of MatPat's old theories because um, there was something that happened in the Curse of Dreadbear DLC. If you beat it all, you unlock the Vanny Mask and uh, you could put it on and then something would happen with your breathing, whatever. Then you get teleported back to the prize counter. But once you're at the prize counter, you still have access to the mask. Putting it on does nothing, but putting it on while holding the glitch trap plush, you hear a conversation between them. So that's very interesting. That was weird. I couldn't walk down. <laughs> great game. Great game. There's an invisible wall here. You can't walk past. <laughs> okay. So I would assume now that we have both of them, we can walk onto the stage and all of the conveyor belts have turned off now. Oh, what the? I thought I fell off. That was weird. Yeah, I really don't like Chica there. That is not cool. Okay, all right. What's going to happen here? Oh, that was a scary sound. Wait, it's still locked. How do I... What do? Maybe... Oh, can I open that now? Maybe I can open that. Oh my god, there's right there. Yeah, we can't open it now. A strange key. I wonder what it opens. That makes sense. You needed two things on either side of it. Okay, can we just... I literally can't kill them because when I try and swipe at them, I go through the door. Whatever. All right, are we going to die now? Oh, there's more. Oh, God. Okay, I can gain back health here. Yes, good. Give me health. Want to play safe? You can die. What is that on the wall? Okay, after I kill these things, we need to take a closer look as to what is on the wall here. Okay, those are just pictures. I can make out Freddy in the bottom one and the top one. And I don't know what else, but those are definitely just pictures on the wall. Wires hanging. What is this place, man? That's just the same images, copy pasted. Where are we go? Oh, we got an open area. Oh, it's glitchy. Oh, we got Afton. Oh boy, do we have Afton. What is this? <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit, was that the door that just freed Glitch Trap? I think that was the door that just freed Glitch Trap from the VR game. I don't know, I don't know. Is that it? What? What just happened? Oh, oh, we got the ending. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh-oh, error. Is Vanny coming now? He's looking out the window. He sees... Bots and Freddy should be dead, right? Freddy too. That's the door from the VR game when you try to kill Glitch Trap. Right, okay, so I was right. That's what it looked like. Vanny's mask has fallen. But where's Vanny? Or did we just get rid of Vanny? <laughs> He's taking Freddy with him. Go on, superstar! 
Who? What? Who's? What? What is? Who was waiting at the door? I'm so confused. That is Vanessa. Why was Van the real Vanessa waiting? So wait, 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 wait. Did we put Glitch Trap back? Did we free Vanessa? I don't know, because that is the three star ending. What? What? We have to wait for the uh, newspaper at the end and see what's on that. We've Oh, we did free her from Glitch Trap. That's awesome. Wait, that's so cool. So what was that door then? Was, was it that we were opening that door and putting Glitch Trap and Vanny in it and locking them back up? I don't know. But that definitely seemed like the door where um, Glitch Trap kind of pops his head by the window and looks in at you and is like, shh, and then just disappears into the night because you're stuck there and he's in your head now. But I think we, so yeah, we actually freed Vanessa. That's awesome. That's a good ending there. Tough to find. <laughs> I love how in one location you can either press a button to have her utterly killed and just like dismembered by robots or in the very same location you can play an arcade game and free her like what the good vanny ending is my favorite everyone made it out alive yeah that's true everyone including freddy well freddy's not gonna have a recharge station so he's gonna die but he made it out with us so cool yes we can check another objective off the list you are correct sir you are correct dragon play princess quest 3 check we got two more things to do. We need that cannon ending underneath Roxy Raceway, and we gotta beat the game without hiding. His head works properly, he's fine, but I thought the head would need charge too. I guess you can just like, I don't know, shove a battery pack in him or something. Wait, that's what he did in one of the endings. He used like a car battery to charge him. Yeah, they're fine, he'll live. That was a good ending. That was definitely a good one. Okay, so one thing that is super unclear still, though, is the fire escape ending where we kill Vanny. Who the heck was the person still standing on the roof? You don't know that. But maybe that goes in with the uh, the the lore from the CDs where it's like the, uh, the glitch that came with you that infected everything made literally not more Aftons, but more Vanessas. Or maybe it made robot Vanessas. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Twin, yeah. We we said that like the same time. Alrighty, what do we have on the newspaper? Oh, it's not a newspaper. It's an actual happy ending. He's eating the one of the ice cream treats we got. I wonder if that's the the hill with the gravestones that we saw in FNAF 6? Probably not, but well, there you have it, folks. There is the second to last ending. So where's this gonna put us? Out by the front? Yeah, awesome. Okay. That was a really cool ending. I really like that. Oh wait, that is the same hill? Most streamers didn't- <gasps> Shut the fuck up, I just got that right? No way that's the same hill with the gravestones. How does that factor into the lore though? What does that hill have to do with anything where they were? Or was this whole pizza plex built near that hill or something? What? I can't believe I just got that right. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, where are we going? Roxy Raceway, Roxy Raceway. Yeah, no, I immediately got that connection. Come on, a hill with a tree on the top of it. Too similar. The gravestone was probably like on the opposite side of the tree or something. Which is kind of weird that they were just, you know, chilling, eating ice cream by some graves. Some children's graves, mind you. Yes, I am ready for the cannon ending. I'm ready to see like spring trap or glitch trap or just purple guy. Who knows what the hell we're, I, if I see, if, okay. <laughs> if we stay in the beautiful in like 4K world that we're in here and then I just see an eight bit purple guy, my life will be complete. Oh wait, I have to go up the floor. What am I doing? Just underneath the pizza plex. You thought it would be spring trap? Nah, it's an eight bit purple dude. Caleb, welcome on into the stream, buddy. How you doing? We're making our way to find the final ending of this game. But yeah, I would have to agree with you so far. Revered, the Vanny ending is definitely my favorite.
Alrighty, I'm excited to explore this because I've been itching to do this. I knew this was here since before we beat the game. We're gonna save right over here. No, I don't need to shoot him, we're good. I'm still yet to know why they went to the Gravestone Hill, but I love that they put that there. Yeah, it's not something that's like easily discernible. Like what is their reasoning for when they escape of all places going there? I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, we probably need Freddy for this, don't we? How much battery you got, buddy? You full? Beautiful. All right. Let's get underneath the pizza plex and figure out what has been draining power and what this was built on top of because it was very clearly built on top of like an old game. Oh, there's that gate. Okay. I'm going to stay in Freddy just because I don't trust whatever is coming up. And I don't want to get jump scared. What is this? Another exit? Okay. I like how they have both types of gates so you cannot explore any of this unless you beat the full game. We got some crushed soda cans. Okay, and what does this button do? Does this button do anything? No, I guess it's just decorative. Okay. Gregory, Go. be careful. This elevator does not appear to follow any safety protocols. Oh, I oh, we got the hazard pay trophy. One trip. Find the source of Roxy Raceway's problem. Cool. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm sure. Let's do this. I'm ready to have my mind blown, Revered. I am ready. Let's get it. I'm gonna get inside Freddy. Actually, being inside Freddy has glitched things out in the past. Let's not go inside Freddy. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen regardless of what's, whether we're in Freddy or not. So where does this elevator take us? Watch, it's gonna be like sister location or something. Oh, good God. I thought those were eyes. I guess they're just lights. And a generator. Do you, oh wait, I can use it? What? What did that do? Uh, do I have to turn on multiple generators? Oh, I guess I do. Uh, okay. Why is there a giant Freddy head? What the heck? What is this? That's not Golden Freddy, right? No. Um, okay. Well, if I turn on this generator, is it gonna light him up? No, apparently not. Okay. I'm real spooked out here. Wow, this is really underground everything, but there's pipes coming all the way down here, so someone who built this had to have known there was something here. Who be living down here? Where you at, Afton? Oh, God, Endos. They're not going to come alive, are they? They're on chains, so I don't think so. Oh, I don't... This mist is, like, crazy bad with the flashlight. Oh, what? There is a bot running down here. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. I've never heard of it referred to as that. Okay, so it was obviously built on top of an old location. Like, we could have gathered that. Is this gonna... What is this gonna turn on? There's one more. Can, can you go away? What does this do? What did we do? Did we turn on them, all the generators? I feel like we did. Oh, good God. Welcome to FNAF. Oh, this is FNAF 6. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is, they built it on top of the burnt building where all of them should have died. Oh, they were not done with the generators, apparently. So everyone should be here then. Shit, we've never, oh, I don't remember how Pizzeria Simulator's play style was. I don't remember if you could like actually explore it, but. This is intense. This is very intense. Let's uh, let's get Freddy in here. Because didn't FNAF... No, FNAF 6 ended with the burning of everyone. FNAF VR ended with you being a child getting stuffed in a, in a Freddy suit. <laughs> I love how the game still thinks we're at 5.15 a.m. So what in the world is going on down here? Why does this go down further? Yeah, they built it on top of the FNAF 6 location. I want to know why, though. Well, obviously, the why is this is how... <coughs> this is how they get Afton back into the game. Oh, we are supposed to go down there. Okay, I was going to, like, explore the stage or something first. So, I don't even... Can we take Freddy down there? I'm assuming none of these are open. 
Well, we can get on the stage, though. Interesting. Apparently, I cannot get on a chair. The timeline video I have for you will answer all of these questions. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I'm excited to watch that tonight. I know what this is. You do? I have been here before. What? Vanessa she brought you brought here? Me here? I found myself for the first time when oh. I cleared the path. I did not want to, but I, I had myself. no choice. Now I have a choice. I have changed. What? My friends are here. They are so angry, confused. But I can protect you. I am not me. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I am not me. There have been lines throughout all of these previous games saying, it's me, it's me. Did Golden Freddy come out of Purgatory to become Glamrock Freddy? I'm confused. I want answers. Not Golden, okay, it's not Golden Freddy. That was a good theory, I thought, though. Uh, how do I, where do I go? I'm, am I supposed to be down here? I'm conf oh, 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 there we go, there we go. MatPat's theory will help you with that one. Yeah, no, I'm sure he's put significantly more thought into this than I did. Because I don't think Afton became Freddy. That doesn't make sense. But he's saying his friends. So, like, who else did we burn here? We had Ennard. I guess maybe Ennard had friends? I do hear that sound. I don't know what it is. Uh, I want to keep theorizing before I keep going. So, who else was there? Scrap Baby. That it would be a girl's voice. It's not going to be Freddy. Um, Afton, I don't know. Michael should have been there too. I think Michael was the security guard. So maybe he became Freddy, but he didn't have any friends. So I don't know who else. I don't know. Is that? No, oh, that, oh, that whole thing is moving. What the frick? Is that Ennard? Did Ennard just grow super huge? Or did all of the burn things come together? Cause I feel like I, I see some Freddy over there. Or helpy? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't want to go down there. Wait, what? What just happened? Was that supposed to happen? No. No, it was not. I'm confused. You have to be- Oh, okay, okay. You have to be in Freddy. Okay, alright. It's fine. We'll just rush through this. I'm assuming- God, those endoskeletons scared me. I'm assuming I have to turn on all the generators. I can't see. All right, get you. Oh, you know what? All those generators probably turn on the Freddy thing. Yeah, yeah, they do. That's what they're for. Okay. Cool. Get close to it and take a good look at it. Well, <laughs> I did get a pretty dang up close look at it with uh, with Freddy. What is it? Toy? F not Toy Freddy. Um. She brought me here. What's it called? I found fun time Freddy, fun time Freddy time jump scaring me. The path. I'm gonna wait for Freddy to stop talking. To, but I had no yeah, choice. I definitely want a good look at whatever the hell this thing is, because it I looks like Ener just grew super huge and maybe changed. took everything together. Friends are here. What if Afton's alive They're inside so the center angry. of this thing? Shrek Lover 69 420, welcome on into the stream. Did you know Sahara Steel is in this game? I do not know who that is, but welcome on into the stream. We are about to discover the canon ending here. Okay, so I can step down here without getting jump scared. That's good to know. Yeah, what the heck is this thing? Because, what is that? Golden Freddy was not in FNAF 6, I don't think. So that's definitely a fun time or molten. Oh, okay, we are getting a very up close look at this. <laughs> Apparently, you can just walk straight inside of it. So that's where we are now. Um, I see another hand or something. Am I stuck in here now? Oh, Freddy can't jump. I, yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> I just got stuck. I have to hop out of Freddy to get out of this so I can jump out, but I'm gonna get jump scared as soon as I do. Oh no, even better. I can't even exit. Shit. This is the living combination of everyone. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what I figured it was. So it's like, it's Ennard, it's Scrap Baby, or, or Mol whatever it is, Molten Freddy, Spring Trap, uh, Michael, I don't know who else. Yeah, I can't exit Freddy, and we're stuck in this section, so I can't even force a jump scare if I wanted to. So that's great. Thank you, game. 
Uh, you're staring at Chica. Oh, that is Chica. Yeah, yeah, it's Chica upside down. Oh, that's a nice look at Freddy. That's that's a that's a real nice view. Let the oh yeah, that's true. That's true. I can let the battery die and then we'll we'll get jump scared. Good point, Dragon. This is actually really stupid that I got glitched inside of it though. Like, come on, game. Of all the glitches, you let this one slide too. God dang it. So who else is here then? While we're stuck here, let's just keep looking. Because there's... I guess this is the best view I got. There's this... What is that? Is that Mangle? I can't even tell. No, that that's... I can't see the front of its face, so I don't know. You can find Mangle or Funtime Foxy here. Oh, maybe... That, yeah, that, that's, that's probably Funtime Foxy. Or Lolbit. Who knows? It's not confirmed who it is. Yeah, because you can't see it. What is this purplish one above me? Is that Bonnie? Is that Helpy? I don't know. Who else do we got? Uh, there's a random hand. That's good. There's multiple random hands. And who? That's that's not Freddy's head. There's something up dead center at the top. I don't know what it is. Bonnie? Oh, that the that purple one's Bonnie. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right, come on, Freddy, jump scare me. Come on, I've been stuck in this mangled scrap whatever conglomerate long enough. We're just gonna stare at Funtime Freddy. You know what's actually funny? The Freddy we're in and the Freddy we're staring at were both voiced by the same person. And we should die any second now. God, those battery upgrades really last forever. Almost. Five, four, there we go, we're dead. Thank you, Freddy, took you long enough. All right, let's actually get the ending this time. Yes, time to do the ending. So what do I do uh, other than not walking directly into the mess of animatronics? Do I just walk to the side of it or is there another area I go to that I missed? Let's charge ourselves up. Go around him? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I don't know how the hell I ended up inside of him, but let's do it. I know what this is. I have been here before. She brought me here. Stay I away from that. The first time when I cleared the oh, there we go. I probably should have waited him for him to stop to. talking. Oh choice. shit, he fell more. Oh, now what? I have a choice. I have changed. Oh, don't tell me I have to play another minigame. Stop talking, so Freddy! God damn it! Confused. <gasps> oh, he's inside the charge machine! What? I Yo, you can actually see his, like, decrepit skull. Oh, shit. Springtrap William Afton is still alive, baby. Is that us? Yeah, I think that's Oh, no, he's coming for us. Is he? Well, what? Is he taking control of us? Yeah, he does always come back. He really does. Um, what just happened? Freddy, why'd you kick me out? No, 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 no. I don't want this. I don't want this. He is trying to take control of me. I do not. I can see him there. Fighting for long. He? What is that thing? Oh, you're not even gonna tell me? All right, we're gonna push the button then. Oh, he set him on fire! He's not gonna die though, he never dies. That didn't do shit. Oh, that stopped him from taking control of Freddy though. So I guess I can just keep setting him on fire? No, that doesn't work anymore. Uh, now, oh God, oh God, I don't like this. I do not like this. Also, why is Balloon Boy World down here too? I can't play it though, what a shame. Let's, uh, oh, there's multiple buttons. Oh! He's gonna try and take us over it's at multiple Roxy. points. What do I do? What? Where? Hide! Hide! Where? What? Where do I hide? In you! Go! Oh Jesus! Get inside, Freddy. Yep, yep. That is the only place to hide. How did Roxy get down here? Oh, it just booted me out. I did not do that. Oh, it's freaking Afton again. God dang it! I'm dead. Oh, she's right there. Okay, you just. 
Press the button, press the button. Get inside, Freddy, get inside, Freddy. Oh, we survived. Jesus, oh, there's a picture of Annie on the wall. That's cool. Well, no, stop kicking me out. Yeah, okay, there was nothing I could have done. She was right next to me. The second I moved, she was gonna get me. Does this put me right back down there? Or does this put me back up here? God dang it. All right, well. This is a bit of a harder ending than I thought. I thought it was just gonna be we walk in and we get the ending. Jesus, okay. Oh, I missed one. Oh no, yes I did, there it is. He always comes back for the cannon ending. Yeah, he has to. We're getting like a real good look at him though. Oh, I missed one. Okay, Freddy, let's try again. I, know what I guess it doesn't said. matter if I wait for his voice line to be I done or not. Before. She brought me here. I found myself for the first time. Time to fall through the floor. The there we go. I did not want to. The geometry of the game allows you to get in the vent and go see him up close. I don't know if I want to do that, but this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm chill with this. My friends are here. They are so angry, confused. And there he is. The fact that he can take control of us through a screen, though, like what? How does Afton have so much control over animatronics? I don't get it. He's too powerful. I mean, I like it. I love the power he has, but he's kind of crazy. Yep. All right, that's going to happen. We're going to set him on fire. I don't know why Freddy kept booting me out as soon as I got in him, though. That was pretty weird. Also, I don't... Am I supposed to go through any of these doors in here? Like, does that matter, or am I supposed to stay in this area? Stop him. What was that? Are you okay? He is trying to take control of me. I can't go this way. You'll find out what the doors or vents are for? Okay, I'll stay here. I'll stay here then. What is that thing? Because I can close the doors and stuff too. Oh, Freddy's freaking dying. Get in a recharge station, Freddy. Yeah, good. Is Roxy coming? I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. Where is he? Oh, he's still there. It's Roxy! What do I do? The doors will not hold her. Hide. No shit, they're not gonna hold her. I can't hide if you're in there, Freddy! Get out! What are you doing? Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, the flash isn't even gonna do anything to her, isn't it? Is it? Where is she? And he's never gonna come out of there. Whoa, what? Call Freddy out of power. I'm sorry, Gregory, I'm out of power. I cannot help. You suck, Freddy. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Freddy thinks I flashed him. I don't trust her. I don't trust her at all. Can I go through here? Nope. No, I cannot. Did I just screw myself in this hallway? Don't come near me. Please don't come near me. I don't know. You're supposed to close the doors and vent. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, no. Not against Roxy. So what the hell do I do against Roxy then? Can I hide in the opposite one? Is that what's happening here? Go, 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 go. Nope, can't hide there. That's that's not how that works. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, guys. She's just running aimlessly, and she's coming right towards me. All right, well, you need Freddy to deal with her. Well, thanks a lot, Freddy, for freaking breaking the game on me. God damn it. Yeah, at this point, we're not going to be able to do the beat the game without hiding achievement, because this canon ending is taking too long. But that's fine. I'll just do it off stream. Can you not, sir? Hello? Come on. Come on. Okay, Freddy, if you could not glitch out on me and lose like all of your power as soon as we get down there, it'd be I great. Know what this is. I have been here before. She brought me here. I found oh yeah, that's definitely Bonnie. The first time when I cleared the path. 
I did not want to. Okay, Freddy, let's try again. Now I have a choice. I have changed. I'm gonna try and run inside of Freddy into the uh angry into the recharge station because maybe that'll fix it and then I can hide with Freddy in there and it'll recharge him. I don't know. I am not. That I am not me line kind of lines up perfectly with Afton looking at us. There's Afton. There's our boy. All right, spit me out, Freddy. Spit me out. Come on. Come on. Let me out. Just gonna really quickly do that. Him. And do what that. Do you have no power now? You did you just lose me? all of your charge? No, you did not. Of me. And I can't I even go into the recharge stations. Okay. He? What is that thing? Don't put me out. Don't put me out. No, don't put me out. What are you doing, Freddy? Why are you glitching on me? No! Fuck! I literally can't do anything if he walks in here by himself. What am I supposed to do? Look out. It's Chica. Chica? Shut the doors. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Shut the doors. Shut the doors. I think I glitched the game and it thinks I passed the Roxy section. I do not know. Oh, I can see through the doors. Okay, there's Chica, so we can open this door. Right? There's no one in this hallway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open that up. Hi, Chica. Bye, Chica. What's the matter? You don't want to come back? Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Where's she coming from? She's still there. Afton is controlling Freddy from somewhere. There he is. Where's Chica? No, Chica. No, Chica. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, do I have to pay attention to the... Ah, oh, shut up, Freddy! No vents! No one there. No one there. No Afton. Afton's stuck there. All right, I think someone's coming towards the vent. I think we're fine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sounds like they're walking away. I don't want to open it yet. Okay, pretty sure they went away. You do any- oh, piss off, dude. Anyone coming? No. Anyone coming? No. What do I do? Just keep doing this? It's Roxy. What do shit, we do? Shit, shit, shit. I don't know how to hide from her. There's nowhere to hide, Freddy. God damn it. I'm just gonna stay here until she hopefully runs away. I literally don't know what to do in this Roxy situation. Don't come near me. Don't you dare come near me. No, fuck off! Go away! Go away! Oh. Yeah, I figured I was supposed to use Freddy to scare her away, but Freddy's freaking glitched, so I can't do that. I can't stand the glitches in this game, man. Like, this is just upsetting. Don't, don't! You suck. Ugh, come on, you stupid fucking game. How am I supposed to hide from her? If I can't use Freddy, like what the fuck? All right, maybe I don't hop right back into Freddy as soon as we free him. Yeah, that is some BS. This game is really testing my patience with its glitches. Alright, let's try it again. At least we did well with the vents. Is Monty gonna come too, or do I just have to defend from Chica and Roxy? Maybe, actually, maybe it is Monty crawling through the vents, because he doesn't have a lower half. Speedrunner much? Yes, exactly. I'm trying to get through these sections as fast as possible, so I don't have to sit through this every time. It is Monty crawling in the vents. Okay, that's what I thought. So then, if I defend from each My animatronic once, should we be done then? They are so angry, confused. Not quite. I Great. Protect you. I am not. Here. 
There's one more thing that happens after each one. Okay, so I'm assuming Afton comes or something, but one thing, or maybe Vanny, I don't know. We gotta defend from each animatronic once, and then one more thing. I just gotta pray that Freddy doesn't freaking mess things up for us. I'm gonna wait for him to say what he has to say. Are you okay? Yeah, save him till we really need him. He usually just boots me out immediately, though. He? What is that thing? Okay, there we go. Push the button. You're fine now. I'm gonna leave you alone. Who's coming next? Chica or Roxy? Who's it gonna be? I'm not getting in you, Freddy. I'm waiting for the next thing to start. Man, I want to set him on fire again. Uh, okay. More unfortunate news. I don't think the next thing is gonna start. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I lied. Okay, there comes Monty. Oh, somebody was walking around back there. I think that was Afton switching rooms. I don't know what room he just went into, though. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, he's being controlled again. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we saw Afton walking into a different room. Did he walk away? No, that's Monty going away. Okay. Yeah, Monty's gone. Okay, okay, turn that off. Are you... Is that Monty coming back? I don't understand. Okay, Afton's not there anymore. Afton's back in this room. Okay, okay. Who's coming next? It's Chica. There she is. Come on, Chica. All right, that's fine. We'll just leave that shut. I don't think she's coming on this end. Let's open up the vent. You're glitching again? No, you're not. Just waiting on you. Hi there. Hello, girl. Goodbye. Goodbye, Chica. It's off, Afton. He really does not like that fire, huh? Okay. So Roxy should be the only thing left now. And then I just gotta hop inside Freddy. Okay, okay. Come on, Roxy. Think he's had enough of being burned? Yeah, maybe. Maybe a what little bit. Do do? The doors will not hold her. Hide! Hide. Please don't glitch. Please don't glitch. Please don't glitch. Please don't glitch. Please don't boot me out. Don't boot me out. Yes! Oh, thank God it didn't glitch. Okay, how do I scare her? Just scream at her? Am I using Chica's ability on her? I'm gonna wait for her to come in. Also, why would... No! Freddy, why? Are you kidding me? You piece of crap. This sucks. God damn it, dude. Yeah, I don't give a crap if you can't see, you piece of shit. You're not supposed to boot me out of the suit. I know this does nothing to her, but this is really, really bullshit. Oh, now Afton's getting him. Okay, that's good. Run away, run away. Run no, don't get in there, Freddy, no! Wait, let me in, let me in, let me in. This might, nope. Come on, dude. It's just so obnoxious at this point. Yeah, I gotta get him in him really, really late. And then just tell me what I have to do. I don't care about spoilers at this point. I don't want to miss this once I'm in Freddy successfully. Do I just use Chica's scream to get rid of Roxy? Is that what I do? Okay, it is Chica's scream. Yeah, we'll just, we'll wait for her to be like at the entrance to the room and then we'll do it. Everything else is pretty simple. what this is. I have been here before. She brought me here. I found myself for the first time. <laughs> FFF is an acronym for Fuck Freddy Fazbear. I yeah, I agree. These glitches are ridiculous. How do you not even play test your goddamn canon now ending of the game? Like, come on. I have changed. I have nothing but bad My things to say about this dev team. They re they have a great story, and the cinematics angry. are great. 
but the gameplay is so glitchy, it's just, it's but fucking I awful. You. I am not is it happening because the dialogue continues into the cutscene? No, that shouldn't have anything to do with it. I would love to hear a reaction to the timeline video once you've done all this. Oh, I'll definitely be talking to you about the timeline video afterwards. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right. We're gonna burn that? him. Are you okay? You just stand there. You don't even care about the fire. Of me. You stay there. You don't do fucking move. Fight it for long. He? What is that thing? All right, who's coming first? Chica, Roxy, or Monty? I'm kind of hoping we get Roxy first. That would be easy. Watch out for wire arms of some sort. What, these things? No, I don't know. All right, Freddy, who's coming? Who's Look coming? Out. It's Chica. Oh, Shut Chica, okay. She's coming this way. We'll wait a little bit. Oh, there goes Afton to the right room. At least we can see Afton walking away. That's pretty cool. Hello? Put Hello? Push the button. Come on. <laughs> I only hit it three times before it worked. Hi, Chica. Bye, Chica. Oh, and Afton's going back to the middle room. All right. Don't you come back here. Oh, that's her. That's Chica making those sounds. Right. Pro, I think Revere deleted your message for a reason. It's signifying that you are spoiling something. So please think about what you're typing. It's Roxy. What do I do? Which side? Which side? Which side? Where's she coming from? Okay, okay. I'm waiting for you. Better not glitch out my game again. Come on in. Come on. Feel the ground shaking from you. You're almost here. There she is. Don't you dare scare me. No, Freddy! Come on! He just booted me out, I couldn't do shit! Oh no, he's getting controlled by Afton. Aw, oh, damn it. She, yeah, um, okay, 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 okay. Where's Afton? Get in, get in, get in. Oh, please, 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 please. Please, please, scream, just scream, just scream. Yes, go away, get out of here, you bitch. Yes, oh, finally. Okay, now we're just waiting on Monty. God, that was awful. She's gone. Jesus Christ. And Afton's just kind of sitting there. Monty makes some weird ass noises. My butt hurts from me clenching it so hard just now. <laughs> Dude, I would be the same way if I were watching. Oh, he's going again, okay. Thank you, Afton. Sounds like Monty is departing. Uh, just wanna make sure before I open it. Okay, cool. Yeah, when there's something actively running at you, you get nervous, same. Now we're in uncharted territory, and I have no idea what's about to happen. Uh, Afton is still there. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. All right, that's cool. Um, what just happened? Whoa, what? Come on! Oh my lord! God damn it! I spam the fucking square button when I walk past that one and it still doesn't work. Get away from me. Yeah, I figured that's why you deleted Pro's message. I didn't want spoilers like that. Yes, I know. I know what you're talking about now. There's wires that come out of the roof that you fell from and this... Oh, so maybe I got caught by the ones on the roof. Maybe that's what happened. I know what this is. Because that was uh, Funtime Freddy that got me. She brought me here. 
I found myself for the first time when I cleared Those arms come from both the floor and the ceilings. Great, so where do I hide? Where can I hide? Oh, I see the grates on the ceiling. Okay. I have changed. There's a little wiggle room. Well, I still have to be able to hit the buttons, don't I? If Freddy gets possessed. Confused. Great. Okay. Where is the wiggle room? Like, where can I start? That's safe, and I'll be able to just look at all the tentacles. What part of the room should I stand in at the start of that section? Because that really sucked. Super close to the walls. Any wall? Like, if I just stand by the left door's computer, that'll be fine. It's called the blob, that animatronic. That didn't work. What was there we that? go. Are you okay? Yeah, so like if I stand right here, I'll be okay. That one shouldn't get me. None of the ones on the roof should get me. Oh wow, they're everywhere on the roof. Jesus. He? What is that thing? Uh, all right, so we're waiting on Chica, Roxy, or Monty right now. So what do I have to do in that section with the tentacles? Do I just have to stop often one more time? Is that it? Like, just, just hit it's one of the buttons. What do I do? Oh, shit. Okay, alright, alright, this is fine. Is she coming from this side? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, since we just did Afton, we just lit Afton on fire, he shouldn't be able to get us again. I have to stop Afton again? I already did it once. She's about to be in here. I'm just gonna go for it. It worked last time. Just scream, just scream, just scream. Oh, oh, the tentacles, gotcha. Yes, I have to stop after once more once the tentacles are here. Get out of here. I screamed already. No, I screamed already. Get your ass out. Okay, she left. Right? No, she didn't leave, fuck. And now Freddy's stuck. Okay, 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 okay. All right, this is not fine. This is not fine, this is not fine. This is very not fine. Why can't- Ah! I'm trying to hit the button! There we go. There we go. Getting Freddy, getting Freddy, getting- Get- Okay, please work, please work, please work. Just scream, just scream at her! Get out of here! Go away! No one wants you! Thank God. Okay. We... Do not need Freddy. Whoo! Okay, okay. I see you're saying that that big animatronic thing's called the Blob. Watch the vents. Got it. Thank you, Freddy. Where's our friend? He's still just chilling in here. Okay. I really hate the Monty sounds. <laughs> it always sounds like he's walking closer. God, I hate that. Yeah, alright. Thank you, Afton. Burning some flames, buddy. Okay. That sounds like Monty's gone now. Wait. Now he's gone. Okay. Chica's up next. Which door is she gonna come from? And where is Afton? He's still just chilling there. Look out, it's Chica. Shut the doors. Is Afton going anywhere? No, he's still just chilling. Alright. Oh no, there he goes. Are we gonna see him walk through this door? No, I guess he walked No no, there he is, there he is. You walk away? No, nah. Now she's here. Okay, bye, Chica. See you later. Yeah, she's not gonna come back. Okay. And you do that. Okay, so now we just stay here and kill Afton one more time, and we should be fine. Incoming. Yep. Oh, I think he walked back towards the center. I think he's at the center camera. I don't know. Oh, God. I'm just... Hi, Freddy. Oh, one of the grates just opened. I heard it. When we hear Freddy glitch out, that is when we look to see where Afton is and hit a button. He's going to be the one in the center. Yeah, yeah, I think that's where he's going to be. I'm just very nervous about the tentacles. But we're just, we're going to stay here. We're going to wait until Freddy glitches out. And then we'll go hit the button. Just got to be careful. Where are the other tentacles? Shouldn't there be more now? Hi, Freddy. I see you. There will be more. I guess it's just on a timer, maybe. 
Oh, oh, I hear stuff. I hear stuff. Oh, and there was Freddy. Okay, okay. Oh, little wiggle room, little wiggle room. Go, go, go. I think I'm safe here? Is this a safe spot? I don't know. We're gonna stay here, because I don't... Oh, I hit the wrong one. There we go, there we go. Freddy's safe. That was not the right button. Good call. Do the tentacles disappear now? Well, there's only one. Thought there would be more tentacles. I guess we gotta keep doing this as more tentacles appear? I don't know. What was that? What was that? Well, he's back in the center room now. Really do not like this. At least one or two more. Okay, okay. We'll just chill here. I'll get this button here as soon as he starts going for it and the tentacle is not like reaching out for me. So what jump scared me though? Cause I wasn't close enough to this tentacle and there's no other tentacles reaching right now. So I wonder what got me. Ah oh, shit, he's not in there anymore. In this one? No, he's in the, he's in that one. Okay, we'll just wait for Freddy to get got again. There he goes. Oh, good. Wait, nope. Back to this one, apparently. There we go. Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, the one from the roof. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, there's more tentacles now. He's back in the center room. Okay. We're sh you know what? We're going to keep our eyes locked on this camera and see where he goes. He won't be at the right one anymore because we did it twice there now. Okay. We're just, we're, we're watching that camera. Where are you going to go, spring trap? I mean, we've got to do it this time. Like, th th this is the run. This is the attempt here. Come on. Do your thing. Try and take control of my little Freddy. Oh, oh. There he goes. Okay, go, 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 go. Hit the button. Yes! We did it! Let's go! All right, we got the ending. God, look at those purple eyes. Oh, it's Blob. <gasps> what? Blob? Wait. Was that supposed to happen? Did I? Did I just get jump scared in a cutscene? <sighs> How the fuck did I just get jump scared in a goddamn cutscene at the end of the game? How? I'm gonna have a fucking aneurysm trying to finish this game. <sighs> no, that did not count. Apparently not. I died I in a fucking cutscene. I have been here before. She you know, so here. when I was talking to Revered off stream I about this game, probably after like our second or third path. stream playing it, I was like, you know, I would kind of rate the game, to, you know, about a six out of ten because the story is really nice. The uh, ability to explore now everything I is really cool, and it is a giant game. There's a lot of changed. rooms and floors to explore, My but. Friends. The amount of glitches in this game, and no, 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 because I didn't, hang on, let me, let me finish my story reviewed. So, I told me it was a 6 out of 10, but because of the amount of glitches that were in the game, I'd probably rank it about a 3, because there were constant times where I was uh, sequence breaking, or the game thought it was somewhere and, it, and I shouldn't be there, or I was getting jump scared when I shouldn't, and, like, we skipped to the Vanny ending halfway through the game, so obviously stuff like that should not be happening, but... Now, with all this shit happening, nah, I'm bringing it down to like a 2 or a 1 out of 10. This game sucks. The story's great, don't get me wrong, but the gameplay just sucks. Yes, you should never die in a cutscene in any game, unless it is scripted that your character is supposed to die. Not that you get jump scared. <sighs> Things I put up with this in this put up with for this game. 
I'm surprised I survived Roxy in the last attempt, honestly. Okay, as soon as he puts his hand on, you're getting fired. What was that? Are you okay? <sighs> trying to take control. My guess is now you have to try and space yourself from the tentacle if you have to go near one to push a button. I gotta get near the button to push it to end the game. The fuck? How the fuck does that help? Like, the closest I can get to this button is here, and that is definitely within range of the tentacle. So, like, the fuck does this game expect me to do? Who's coming first? It's Roxy. Oh, what yes. Do do? Good. Come on down, Roxy. Where did Afton go? Hello? Where is Afton? Shit. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. That was perfect timing. Better not boot me out this time, Freddy. I swear to God. Scream in her face. Hello? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, she's gone. We're good. Oh. And it's not your fault, bro. You don't have to be sorry about it. It's the game's fault. Yeah, I think the best bet is I'll wait here at the ending and just I'll watch this monitor for wherever Afton goes. Chica, it's Chica. Chica Shut come from the, the same side? Chica always comes from this side. Hi, Chica. Yeah, that was pretty much BS. Out of everybody, any, out of everybody I've ever seen play this game, I've never seen them die to a cutscene. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna like tweet about that one because that's that's some bullshit right there. He's not coming back right now. Where's you're there? Goodbye, Afton. Oh, he left the room while on fire. Good. He should reappear here in a sec. There he is. All right, so Monty's next. I wish I could see him coming through the vent. I feel like it's an Easter egg because in FNAF 1, Chica always came from the right. Oh, maybe. Maybe that is an Easter egg. She did always come from the right. God, so vicious, Monty. You need some anger management, dude. If only there were a way to, like, glitch to hit this button from behind or something. Oh, she did? Okay, so it's only our stream that she specifically comes from the right, it seems. Okay, wait for Monty's last growl. And goodbye, Monty. All right, time to hide right here and just stare at Afton. Let's see where he goes. Eh, there's our tentacle friend. Good, good, good. Oh, and he knocked up a fan with him. That's kind of funny. Yeah, it was probably that tentacle that jump scared us, which is dumb. It shouldn't be active after you hit the final button. Oh, he's going left. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. What just opened? Oh, shit, that one opened. Okay, around you. Sit here and wait for Afton to return. You're good, Freddy? Yeah, you're good. There he is. There's our main man. Did another one just open? It sounded like another one just opened. I don't think it did. Okay, he's still chilling here. It's good. Oh no, it's this tentacle moving the grate on the floor. That, it's the grate glitching out. That's what that is. Yeah, we're hugging the wall. We are hugging the wall. Yeah, after I hit the final button, I'll just try backing up and see if that works. I don't know. All right, he should hit this button next. Oh, never mind. He's walking to the next room. Okay. I'm just nervous for the ceiling one to pop out here. All right, you're gonna glitch Freddy or what? There we go, there we go. Yes, please make this the last button. Nope, no it was not. No, it was not. And that one opened. Okay, that's cool. Oh, jeez. All right, he's back in the center. This is where we ended things before. Yeah, there's a tentacle near all three buttons. I think we're screwed. 
Come on, Afton, just do it. Just do it. Well, actually, I think it'd be okay if with the left button. Yeah, go left. Please, keep walking, Afton. Just walk. Just walk. Just walk. Just walk. Come on. Just walk to the door in front of your face! Shit. Okay, well, let's wait for this tentacle to, like, swing. No, you're not gonna swing, buddy? Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, 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 okay. That wasn't even the last button, god damn it. Yeah, no, I, I know not to wait too long. Well, now maybe he'll go left, who knows. I don't like that it's randomized how many buttons you have to press. That's not cool. Just make it like three buttons and Afton's dead. Also, how the hell is he so fireproof? He's now been set on fire in two previous games and then multiple times in this section. Oh, again with this button. Nope, missed it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, I backed up. I am holding back, so I should be hugging the wall, hopefully. Please don't jump scare me. Don't jump scare me. Oh, thank God we didn't get jump scared. Run, Gregory, run! This whole place is coming down. Oh boy. Wait, that's it? We just run away? Two stars, wah wah. Finally, oh my God. We finally got the ending, Jesus. Wait, I thought we were gonna get like a, uh, I thought we were gonna get a comic book ending. So wait, what happened? He just gets, he's not dead. He's 100% coming back. He just gets like absorbed by Blob, which means he's only gonna get stronger. Oh, there's a little comic after. Okay, cool. We'll wait for it. That was so infuriating how bad that ending was coded. But we got it. We finally passed it, which means we can check off the Discover the Canon ending. Finally, oh, by the very, very end of the stream. Took long enough, right? There we go. Only thing we did not complete was finish the remaining achievements. We might... Mm, we, we, we can give it a small attempt. I forget how long the run is. I don't know. We're already over time anyway, so we, we're not going to start it. I'll end up doing it off stream, and I'll just let you guys know when I get the final achievements. Yeah, the speedrun's 25 minutes, so yeah, we're, we're not going to... We're not gonna do the game right now. We're not gonna beat it. No, th this is gonna be the last Five Nights at Freddy's stream because all that's left is achievements now, and I can do that off stream. I don't think that merit that that would be worth an entire extra stream on the game. Because uh, the only achievement I should be missing is that one, and maybe any others that's glitched. You know what? While the credits are rolling, real actually, will the credits continue to roll while I'm out of this? They will. Okay. You know what? We'll we'll wait till the end of the credits, and then we'll check the achievements. Yeah, let's not risk it. I don't, I don't want to miss whatever comic book strip is at the end. This is very stressful to get to this point. And not because of the game being hard, just because of it being so awfully made. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm still missing the Shatter All Animatronics uh, achievement just because that one's glitched, because what else in this game wouldn't be glitched? Uh, but I think we should have everything else then, besides obviously the beat the game without hiding. But I'm pretty sure I have every other achievement. I'm going back in the bottom clipping the death in the cutscene. Oh yes, please do. I'll, I'll post that on Twitter, that clip then. I- ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME, GAME?! WHAT THE HELL?! Ugh. I can't. I can't with this game anymore. I literally cannot with this game. I- Oh my lord. Ugh. Okay, can someone just tell me what was in the comic strip at the end? Because I'm pissed now. I'm really fucking pissed now. Yeah. Yeah, just- ugh. God damn it! Steel Wolf, whatever the fuck the name is of your gaming industry, you made a really piece of shit game. This is ridiculous. This is utterly ridiculous. 
Oh, it's just Freddy and Gregory on the same hill. Okay, so it's them without Vanny. Gotcha. I guess that makes sense, because in that ending, we never f rescued Vanny, and she would still be haunting whatever's left of that pizzeria, because it looked like it was coming down. God damn, dude. All right, let's look at the achievements. I'm so over this game. I have loved the story and playing it, but wow, I'm so over it now. Okay, so this hidden trophy here is ultra rare. 0, 0.0 players have it. That is the glitched achievement, which is shatter all animatronics. Great game. And because of that, nobody has the platinum. It's fucking idiotic. Okay, but the only other thing we should be missing is, yeah, beat the game without hiding. Wow. Wow. What a goddamn game. I'm honestly glad we never have to play this glitch-filled game again. Jesus Christ. I'm excited to watch the lore videos, though. I Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed this game for so many reasons, but I also hated it for so many more reasons. Oh, Lord. All right. That, I, I have had enough stress and jump scares for one night. That is going to be the end of the stream, guys. So let's find someone to raid. <laughs> oh, jeez. Who is streaming right now? Who are we gonna read? Yeah, I'm sure that was funny for you guys. Ooh, I know who we're gonna raid. We're gonna raid Ruby Rudy. That is uh, Master P Graded's husband. She showed up earlier in the stream, so we're gonna send him a raid because he's playing some Valorant like normal. If you're joining us for the raid, feel free to copy and paste this Dojo Squad raid message I am about to put in chat right there for you. Who did I get jump scared by? Uh, when we were going for the the Princess Quest 3 ending, Chica got me a couple times. Like, I turned a corner and she was just there and scared the shit out of me. I, like, that was actually probably the best jump scare I got in this whole series. But I'm sending you off to Ruby Rudy now, so send him some love and uh, wish him some luck on the Valorant games and their move. They are moving to Florida in like less than a week, so wish them luck on the move. And I will see you guys Friday for more Fall Guys, but thank you so much for being here for the end of Five Nights at Freddy's. And uh, that, that is it for me. Thank you guys. Enjoy Ruby Rudy's stream, and I'll see you on Friday. Have a great night, everyone.